I said you were a right. bitch fit. Don't call me Dude, back. back oh, up. shit, hey, dude. Why are you punching right. me, bro? Hey, guys, just wanted to remind you really quickly. We put an extra episode on the Patreon every single week. Subscribe down below. Yeah. New Year's Day. Time any for you. Any significant? Oh, okay. Okay. You mm -hmm. know, Leo, mm -hmm. I think a good first step for you to get off on the right foot in the new year. Okay. Can you see where this is going? I think I do. I think, does it involve a, a surgical procedure? I think you should get circumcised. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to get circumcised in 2024. I'm going to tell you right now. You're so lazy and so good for nothing, Leo, that even if you did get circumcised, you'd be like a guy who went to the gym five times and then quit. You would somehow regrow your foreskin. That's how much of a dego so. you are. You would regrow your foreskin. I hope it would regrow because then I would I would experience pleasure again. It would be such a dull existence having a regular cock. You know, I've had a superhuman cock all these years. You say it makes you have a hair trigger and it feels way better. Leo, I honestly think the best thing for you would be to get circumcised. You know what? Scratch that. I think the best thing for you would be to be emasculated. Oh, really? As it were. So I'm catless. So I no longer experience any sexual thoughts. Or anything of the sort. Yeah, I want That's you... That's what I need. You know the French Revolution? Mm -hmm. Not your head and neck going through the guillotine. Your My cock balls. and balls. Cock and balls. Both, dude. Full castration. What do you think this is? I'd be your... What is that? The uh, the guy that guards the The chicks. chief black eunuch. I, I could be a eunuch. A chief black eunuch. I'd be jacked, probably. I, I would probably just only work out. I'd be like Brando, because I cut his balls off, and now all he cares about is hunting. Have we talked about the chief black eunuch on here? I've we, gone on many a chief black eunuch rant, so I don't know if it's been on you here. You love a guy that's got his nuts and cock chopped off, uh, you know, by force, or not by force, because he did it for the king. You love that the idea of that. Yeah, it was for the sultan. Get it right. You're being insensitive toward other cultures. But in the Ottoman Empire, you know, over there in the, you know, wherever... The Sultan would have a harem or a harem. Mm. I had a professor Peterberg, my instructor at UCLA, who was me too. I think we pulled up his That's article. Awesome. He always said harem or harem. He said harem. The chief black eunuch would guard the harem, which was just like 80 bitches from all quarters of the empire. Mm -hmm. And to make sure he didn't do anything silly with any of those women, didn't do anything funny. They chopped off his cock and balls. Later. Wow. Chopped cock and balls. And he was black because in the Ottoman view, black men were less attractive mm -hmm. and the women would be less attracted to him. And therefore, once again, reducing the likelihood of funny stuff. Boy, did they not have, you know, the right view on that, huh? Having a thick black man around all the chicks was exactly what they needed to get their pussies wet for the sultan. That's true. But let me ask you this. In 2024, do you see yourself having the kind of power to command a eunuch? Hmm. Well, my harem is growing to the point where at some point it's going to need some tending. I, you know what, man? I mean, you know, you, you're talking shit about my penis to start this pod, but I'm not going to talk shit about the fact that you're getting a lot of pussy. I think we need to tell Sandra in this. That's always an important step. Mm -hmm. But I think whatever we should just, you know, Leo, can you just call her up right now while I'm saying this? <laughs> but I, who do you think? I mean, Ratzik Ralph might as well be a eunuch. And I have a photo to prove it. He probably would be the most likely to be down to just be castrated for you. Yeah, I think so. For the boys. I mean, for the boys. <laughs> castration for the boys. I mean, yeah. I got I to tell you guys, though, Brooks painted this. He oil painted it. But Ratik got nude and posed for us for one of my Patreon vlogs. Mm -hmm. And Ratik's cock was inside his body. It was <laughs> 0, 0.0 inches long. Why? Was it cold or something? I mean, sometimes he's just a eunuch, dude. Sandrine, what's up? Ah, she she sent us straight. Let's leave her. Let's leave her a voicemail. Okay, we'll call her back. Austin, you might turn my headphones up a little bit too. Mm -hmm. But I, you know what, I like the new year, Leo. I do. Uh, my goal is not to get. I've already been circumcised, of course. <laughs> so that's thank God. Unfortunately, thanks for to you. Papa Mullen. Take Sucks care. for you, but but I I'm mm -hmm. not one of those New Year no New Year's resolution guys who are like fuck that. Mm -hmm. You shouldn't have to make a New Year's resolution. You should be on the grind. Three sixty five. No, screw that. Three sixty six. We leaving a message? Yeah. Hey, Sandrine, you there? Oh, wait, this is a message, right, Liam? Mm -hmm. You know what? I'm getting so big time these days, Sandrine. I don't even need to do my own talking. I have a, well, not a eunuch, but soon to be, hopefully, circumcised man who's going to do the talking for me. Reminder, Leo, of my situation. Sandrine, he is a, um, 
you could almost call him, I don't know, a, a gigolo of sorts. The amount of vagina that he sees is is abnormal. Yeah. He's exposed to many, many, many vaginas on the daily. Yeah. It's unfortunate, but uh, I have seen uh, him change even by because of the amount of vagina in his life, and it's not good. If she doesn't understand what you're saying right now, just tell her that, you know, put it real simple, I get pussy. Oh, Sundrian, basically what I'm trying to do, I'm trying to wrap this whole up, this whole thing up, and uh, yeah. you, you get a lot, he gets a lot of pussy. That's right. Sandrian. and I'm sorry to let you know like this in a message, but um, he does care about you, and he wants you to be in videos in the future. You yep. just have to, you know, uh, keep it together, all right, and start dating other men. Sure. And tell her her New Year's resolution should be to accept that I get a lot of fucking pussy. And uh, he wants to, he wants to let you know that his New Year's resolution. No, not her New Year's. Or her, he says that your New Year's resolution should be to accept the fact that he gets a, just a ton. That's right. A boatload of pussy. All right. That's, thank you. All right, Sandrine. You, all, you have a nice day. And uh, hopefully uh, you can text me back if you want. But You didn't tell her Happy New Year. And Happy New Year, sweetheart. There you are. There's the polite man. But Leo, I, I really do find January the 1st to be a bit of a rebirth. So I always take some time off for Christmas, good Christian man that I am. Mm -hmm. And, you know, after that period of hibernation, if you will, I come back with a fresh perspective. I come back doubly motivated. Mm -hmm. I'm ready to get the year by the balls. And if need be, fuck it in the ass to show it who's boss. That's awesome, man. Thank you. And in the fucking the universe in the ass or just the year 2024 just, just the year if just i have can, anal with 2024 you know if 2024 somehow and we're really getting to some sort of metaphysical level here we are but i wish i could wrestle it into a bedroom mm -hmm. like you know what leo you can't get me too'd for fucking time you're right so i if for some reason i was at a cocktail party and 2024 showed up <laughs> i would drop my martini mm -hmm. and just Punch it in the face. Okay. Once it was unconscious, I would drag it. You know, a good old fashioned dragging, like where I'm. I got it suspenders, and for some reason, it's wearing Chuck Taylors. Mm -hmm. And there's just like a for, there's like a director there, maybe Quentin Tarantino. He's there, and he's filming. It's Chuck Taylors just getting drug all close up, mm -hmm. take it into a closet, and just fuck every hole of its body. Wow. <laughs> well, you're you're gonna rape 2024. This is, and I'm gonna kill it after. <laughs> You know what? I, I think that's a good call. I think um, I think the things that we have planned already for 2024 are pretty. They're pretty gnarly. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I that too. That too. Right now, I'm just throbbing hard, picturing myself raping mm. and killing the new oh. year 2024. Leo, don't even let it. You it's don't even an want entity. to know. It's not. It's, it doesn't have a gender, right? You don't even want to know what I would do to its dead body. It's dead, genderless, faceless body. Do you? I mean. Yeah. Do you ever think about how when you die, if they just kind of threw you over to like a bunch of necros, wouldn't that be kind of fun? That is the dice you roll when you die, Leo. Mm -hmm. You never know. Nobody can be certain they escape the necrophiliacs. Yeah, I don't think they put a, they don't have the security cams in, in certain areas of the morgue, no, right? I mean, no. there's no way that every, you know, corner of that morgue. All the money goes to the the lawns at the cemeteries. Mm -hmm. It goes to the to developing more expensive urns and coffins. Yeah. Security for the dead? <laughs> Cuz you know what, Leo? How many corpses have lodged a complaint about getting raped up the ass? I doubt many. 3 or 4. <laughs> but that's not enough to significantly change anything going on at the morgue. Yeah. No one's going to work there without any kind of perks or privileges. You know what? I fucked a girl. That's true. That's true, Austin. It's a really rough job. It's like when you in Auschwitz, they used to give the Jews that cleaned out the gas chambers drinking privileges. That's nice. Because otherwise the job sucked too much. I had sex with a girl in Vegas once who her whole goal in life was to be a mortician. What a really? Yeah. Yeah. And that's that's when you want to wrap up for Leo. It's I would say, comic. yeah. Yeah, she sounds uh, like a, like she could be someone that murders small animals. Probably. Now, talking about the morgue, I had a buddy at Waterworld who did this job that was really messed up for not a lot of money. And I, I always thought he was kind of an idiot for doing it. But he would go to with two guys would be on call and he'd get paid overnight to wait around for a dead body. Then they'd go pick it up for a morgue. If it was in a certain area where it would, you know, that it was a large area of L.A., sure. anybody who died, uh -huh. they'd go pick it up. 
one or one, either him or his buddy had to do a little task Mm -hmm. that involved sewing up the asshole Uh, of the dead. Wow. And yeah, you wore gloves and a mask, some, some, uh, some goggles and you, and you did that. And it was for $19 an hour, not even 20. That indignity of making it 19. I know. Can you imagine being that boss? Like, I'm not going to give these fuckers 20. It's not that bad. It's, so not, what? it's not that bad to do. I've done it. You sew up the asshole of a deceased 90-year-old broad. What are you complaining about? Come on, it could be worse. It could be worse. So what if you got to take a pair of scissors and cut through a minor forest of gray pubic hair before oh. you can even get in there with the needle and thread? You ain't getting an Andrew Jackson. Come on. I'm not giving these fuckers 20. No, no. Do you think one of them came in one day after work and it was like, I mean, one day after work, he shows up at like 6 a.m. after delivering a body. He's just covered in feces. Oh, yeah. And he's got the thousand yard stare and he's like, just one extra dollar. Just one extra dollar so I can look my girlfriend in the eye. No. Let me think about it. No. That is for 19. In Laniggy's job, too. All respect to Inla Nagy, but he's told me he's had to do some fucked up shit. And if you are dealing, I mean, at least he's dealing with the living. If you are dealing with the dead, that is, when, you know when somebody asks you how much money it would take for you to suck a dick? Mm-hmm. That question might as well be how much money would it take for you to sew up somebody's ass? I would rather suck a dick than sew a corpse's asshole shut. I think you're probably not in the in the minority of people. I think most people. Would probably would probably pick it. I notice you're excluding yourself right now. Well, if I had the choice, well, mm-hmm. I'm not going to be gay. So. Leo, come on, buddy. It's the new being year. Gay in, it's in the my new year, culture. Leo. Being gay in my culture is not okay. It's Mexican. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you always got to go there. You always got to go there. The Mexicans seem like they're not homophobic, though. I feel like South oh, Americans yeah. are more. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mexicans. The Mexicans I meet in Los Angeles seem really LGBTQ friendly. You, uh, yeah, man, we, we need to do more Mexican videos this year. What do you think? That's we, a very vague statement. Well, we want, I want to go to a Mexican. What is that? Just a whole video? It's like, hey, que pasa? Today we're testing churros and what? playing football. Okay, well, testing like churros it. and playing football video, Dave, that'd be pretty funny, dude. That testing would be good. churros. <laughs> we go around testing churros, dog. You got to be like fucking like the, the most gnarly tester of churros. Okay. Dude. It's got to be a perfect churro. I mean, we can do it. We were pretty close to doing the most Mexican video possible when we went to that lowrider convention all mm. loked out. So that was pretty gnarly. I, I think. I think we should do fake peso pluma at this point. Fake peso pluma sounds genius to me yeah. too. At at an, a Mexican soccer game, because the videos that the boys uh, stuttering Caesar sent me. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we're talking Guerrero, S- Guerrero, dude. Seventy thousand Mexicans, dude, in an arena. If only, Can you handle that? I was. Gonna if only some, I was going to make some genocidal jokes. <laughs> I don't know why you just you made note of so many. Like that's a big number, and then they're all in one area, and it sounded genocidal coming from I you. I get it, yeah. but you're Mexican, so I guess. Oh, you can say here that. we go. You can make those jokes. We're in a different continent. I am not Mexican. I'm South American Italian. That's what I am. Yeah, it, South America, Argentina, and Mexico are basically right next door to each other. Really? No. They're very, very far from. I know other. it's maddeningly far, right? It's very far. You can drive though through if you you can drive all the way down from here to Argentina. Oh, That's yeah. a video. You'd be rolling in with fucking. You'd be rolling in on the hub of your like. Yeah. Not even the hub caps or the rims. Yeah. Like you would just be rolling in on the fucking crankshaft or whatever. Yeah, you weren't here, but I was. <laughs> I was trying to convince Austin to do it, to do it. I was like, yeah, you can fix your own car. You should do it. You and Dina should yeah. just go on the Mustang. Go all the way down to Argentina. Yep. See, how it, see how it goes. Yep. It's going to be a seat, a car seat on top of a skateboard is how you're going to arrive at Argentina because <laughs> everything's going to get stripped. <laughs> That's the only way. It's true. It's true. Can Austin, we... can you turn my headphones a little bit more? I'm sorry. I uh, My fucking water goes off in my apartment constantly. They've had to come twice to fix the heater. It's broken again. And then they've had to come twice to fix the hot water. It's off again. So I don't want to take a shower tonight because... Every time I take a shower now, it's an ice bath. Mm. And I already took like a, a post jujitsu ice bath shower today. So I don't want these disgusting headphones to touch my head. The health benefits, though, will be great. You have to be grateful for your building being shitty. You know, I am. I try to be. Yeah. But Leo, I um, this strikes me as one of those things that you're vaguely aware is healthy, but you haven't taken a cold shower. 
I since have, 2015. I have done the last 30 seconds cold probably 10 times in the last three months, I would say. Okay. I, I, I look, I can see the, the, ben, the benefits make sense. It's like scientifically kind of makes sense, right? I mean, why, why, haven't, why aren't we jumping in with everybody else? It I, seems like all the great men are doing ice baths. I agree. Yeah, why aren't a we? A cold plunge? I, so the benefits, you feel great when you get out, but I feel Tony Robbins says this, that the main benefit is it primes you to deal with fucked up shit mm -hmm. because it's not fun and it takes a lot of discipline. Mm -hmm. And as he says... He teaches himself through getting in a cold plunge that when I say go, that means go. So yeah, you like you feel fucking, you feel a little David Goggins doubt after you get out of there. Your nipples are hard. Mm -hmm. Your cock is a half inch long. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you feel ready to tackle the day. You feel ready to rape twenty twenty four. Yeah, and then kill it in a room at yeah. a party. Yeah, no, we got to do it, man. It's funny because my algorithm, I follow a lot of like the guys that are saying like, you know, like, hey, you got to get up and do this, right? Like a lot of motivational. <laughs> Sounds really motivational. Hey, you got to get up and do this, dude. Otherwise, it's, you know, it's, it's going to be bad if you don't do it. So, you know, get out there. Huh? Well, that's what I'm saying. It's all been it, it, like, I feel like the algo, it started with like guys trying to trick me into doing it. And now it's just guys telling me to get up. It's like this one guy. Andy Elliott, I don't know. It's been popping up all over. He's around. way down the list. Yeah, he's, he's way, way down, down the, list. the list of tough guy influencers. Exactly. This His name isn't even tough. It, yeah, seriously. But it, dude, this guy does the most straightforward oh, shit. He'll I'm just Andy bring. Elliott. He'll be like you in the crowd. Come up here, and he's like, "You're fat, man." It's like he's just like so to the point. Oh he's wow, like, he's like a red pill YouTuber. Yeah. Of the fucking workout space. Yes. I like that. Dude. It's kind of funny, dude. And he's, yeah, he's a sales trainer, which I have no idea how those two things are going. He just calls people fat. He's like, if you don't take care of yourself, you're not going to sell. So he's just like David Goggins without the military background. Pretty much, yeah. Yeah. That's, I don't want to dismiss this guy offhand because mm -hmm. I have no idea what he accomplished. Yeah. But it is funny to think because most of those guys, most of the influencer guys, they started a business. They did something gnarly in the armed forces like Jocko or David Goggins. And now... Like 10 years after their career of doing other shit, they're telling you about it and telling you how they got through it and motivating you that way. But I feel like there's a generation of people who just skipped the accomplishing shit stage and just went right to lecturing everybody else. Yeah, I think that's... <laughs> That's probably most of the people. They're just like, online. hey, you, you got to like, maybe not smoke weed so much. You got to get rich. Do you want bitches? Do you want? Yeah, that's yeah. Mom, I'm live streaming. Do you want you got to <laughs> fucking live in a mansion, bitch? Yeah, fucking Ferrari. I got three. Mm hmm. Or it's like Ty Lopez, like not hating on Ty Lo Lopez, but there's a lot of those guys who genuinely didn't really have like a successful business until they started selling their course to like how to be successful. Ty Lopez did have a successful business. I've been listening to Ty Lopez podcast recently. Mm. What are you getting from it? Well, the first time you hear a Ty Lopez, like I listened to two podcasts back to back with him. The first one I listened to was spellbinding. He's so interesting. His insights into business, into relationships, into human psychology are actually fucking fascinating. I was a little bit disenchanted though because I listened to a second podcast with him and he shared like five of the same anecdotes he'd shared in the podcast before. The one trick pony. That was a little disappointing. I th I think, though, that that might have just been, you know, I, I, if you fucking pick any number of podcasts we've done, I'm sure there are shitty podcasts. I'm sure we've told the same story a billion times. It's true. So I'm not totally judging. I still think the guy's a winner, but he did break down his, his initial businesses. And Austin, initially, he was a nightclub promoter. No, I think I think Ty Lopez is pretty legit. I just mean since Ty Lopez, there has been like all these mini Ty Lopez's of yeah. guys being like, this is how you succeed. Buy my course, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm like, dude, there's no way these guys are really like Sure, sure. They're, They're Ty like Lopez 15. with half the IQ yeah. and one one millionth of the net worth. What we what I think what we we agreed that Ty Lopez does well is the adding of the girls with the correct ratios. <laughs> On his Instagram, remember we looked one time. You yes. were like, 
Dude, he follows only girls with about two to three thousand followers, yes. and like they're fo- and and they're following like a thousand or five hundred people. Uh, yes, and and at their college age, yes. so we're like, this guy is a genius. Dude. His his Instagram followers oh, list, yeah. the girls he follows, looks like every one of Leo's wet dreams. <laughs> it's just like all. <laughs> 20 year old girls at UC Santa Barbara with yeah. like 1500 or like 3000 followers. Yeah, they don't know enough people to even know that they're that hot. You know, they're just, well, they know they're hot, but really it's just in their bubble. Yes. You know, and then you get to be this big, like, hey, I'm the first guy. Hey, what's up? Kind of big time. Hey, you want to come over to my garage? Because <laughs> you know it's better than material things? Blowjobs <laughs> and knowledge. <laughs> knowledge is good too, but first let's go with blowjobs. Ty, another thing I like too is he's he keeps it fucking real, dude. Mm-hmm. Like he was talking about how in women, one of the things that we're most attracted to. So guys listening, one of the things you can do to make yourselves more attractive is have a good hip to shoulder ratio. Narrow hips, broad shoulders. Yeah. Basically what that is is just lose weight. Yeah. If you lose weight, you're going to have narrow your narrower hips relative to your shoulders. He says that women, it's hip to waist ratio. So guys like a narrow little stomach and then wider hips. Oh yeah. I bet you like those. I can already hips. see that glint in your Italian eyes, Leo. It makes You really changed when I mentioned a narrow waist and big hips. Well, it's just it is one of life's great ple- I mean pleasures to see a woman that just has a small waist and a big booty. It's just I mean, it's like you you know that God exists when you see a woman that has a nice ass, don't you? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm not talking about the ass yet. But. Well, the ass being it's when it's relatively bigger than the waist, it yes. looks really nice. You but know? Ty was saying that, and he was like, so what do you notice first about a woman? And the other guy he was podcasting with is like, oh, good personality. And Ty's like, okay. yeah. I thought we were dropping truth bombs. <laughs> so you don't care about hip to waist ratio? Then Ty was like, what are you like? The girl who's built like a FedEx box? <laughs> 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 Which in LA, there's a lot of... Basically, at any minimum wage job, every woman in L.A. is built like a FedEx box. Yeah. Yeah, I used to call them tortilla bags, too. <laughs> oh. Well, you well you're Mexican, so you can I say can it. I can say that. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, what's a tortilla bag, though? Well, is it's that- just like it's kind of round and just very boxy, you know, at the same yeah. time. Yeah. Like it's just a big cylinder of tortillas. So a cylinder of tortillas <laughs> in a bag. Exactly. That's kind of, you know, with little legs on it. Yeah, <laughs> cute. Sort of mm-hmm. like um, in... Sort of like in uh, Harold and Kumar 2, when he fucks the big bag of weed. <laughs> yeah. Just built like the big bag of weed. <laughs> Austin, wow. If there's a big bag of weed with a hole, Austin would never go to women again. Dude, I, I mean, haven't smoked weed in like five days. Wow. Well, you're hitting the cart, dude, which oh. which is that you are smoking weed. It's just in, in dab you form. Piece but I'm of done. Shit, dude. I'm done smoking the plant material. You piece of shit. Yeah, that was a lie. Shit. Yeah. That was, I got excited. That's like, dude, I quit drinking. Yeah. I just drink 40s now. <laughs> hey, it's better no than more hard granddad. liquor. If you switch to beer from hard liquor, it's like, you know. I don't think that's every alcoholic. That true? I've known, every alcoholic I've known has been a beer drinker. Is that I don't even know if that's true, Austin, because alcohol is alcohol. Mm-hmm. And then also it's just more calories if you're drinking beer. So like obesity comes into play, too. Mm-hmm. True. But I mean, I've seen like mud flap kill like a handle and it's like, well, I'd rather watch him kill a 12 pack. You know what I mean? Yeah, as far as drinking and driving and punching a hole in the wall hazards. But, I mean, I guess whiskey does seem, because whiskey's like, when you take a shot of whiskey, it feels like it's acid and it's going to burn a hole in your mouth if you don't swallow it. So it feels less healthy. Yeah. But I don't know if in actuality it actually is. Yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't know. Drinking is fucked up, dude. It seems like as you get older, you have to kind of, like, figure out how to drink less if you're a drinker. And if you, uh, even if you're a social drinker, you know now that you're going to pay for it the next day as you get older. So it, it'd be, it's, it, you could tell it's, it's probably worse than a lot of other drugs that, right? I mean, it's definitely worse than weed, it seems like. Yeah. I would say definitely worse than weed. Yeah. I know you're a different person when you drink. You know what I mean? You are, yeah. I don't know what happened. I'm sorry to about you. the Christmas party and your mom, Dana. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> Just, it was missing. So no, listen, I've seen Ratik's been telling. I mean, he's been showing me stuff that people are doing drunk, and it's just insane. I mean, RPP's dad is involved in some kind of thing with 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 Big Che's mom. It's crazy, dude. It's well, crazy. we're gonna have them both in here very soon. To Hopefully, ask yeah. about that. Yeah, we yeah. are. We are. 
Austin, you so you have a lung infection and you can't smoke plant weed. Yeah, he, I'm sure the doctor would not give you the green light on doing vape cards. Yeah, when you were mentioning that he would fuck the, the the marijuana bag, I mean, he probably because he is willing almost to die for for weed. No, that's the thing. Not anymore, man. After this third lung infection, it's like I gotta stop. I can see smoking. the vape. I can't see his face, but I can see the vape. The vape, yeah, no. Well, you got to stop smoking like plant, but like you're now smoking wax or well, that's whatever just it is. Because I'm so, I have like, I'm, I'm like so fucking THC just like soaked in my brain mm -hmm. that uh -huh. I, I've, I do want to wean off and completely stop smoking any weed products. Okay. But as of today, like I have just no desire at all in my body to smoke more plants. Like my, I just don't want to get sick anymore. I've what about like, uh, what about like a juniper months. bush? Don't <laughs> knock it before you try it. Don't say all plants you can't smoke. They maybe, gotta find the diet. Maybe weed a Joshua out there. tree. I'd be able. I'd be down to spark up some Joshua tree. The Joshua tree is that might be the diet weed. That I mean, look at Rat Tech. He looks great, and he smokes a lot of Joshua tree. He does look bad for the amount of drugs he's done. That's for sure. He looks pretty foul. I was being sarcastic. But well, yeah, he's got the the permanent like the bags under the, the the dark circles around his eyes for permanently. I was just talking about body wise because mm -hmm. he subsists off. He is. What are the fish that you can't eat because they just swim at the bottom of the bay and carp. eat old cans? Carp. Rattick Ralph <laughs> has been living like a carp <laughs> the last 15 years. He is a carp. He's a know. carp, dude. Yeah, yeah. He's a, and, but, you know, with our help, he might turn into a fucking Gyarados. Yeah. I agree. I think we're doing a lot of good for him. And today, I feel like we really need to just somehow fix this chase situation. I think he was throwing up blood. I, I got a video from Rattick. And it looks like it's blood. He told me he didn't drink wine. Uh -huh. Big Shay might be just throwing up blood, dude. I think we're going to feel bad is... if that little bastard goes to heaven or hell. Who knows? Oh, he's a Christian. Yeah, hopefully he's going to heaven. <laughs> Purgatory. But wherever he's going. I don't know if he'll fit through the pearly gates. <laughs> wherever he's going, man, I, mean, I feel bad. I, I think we're going to feel bad if we don't make it a bigger deal for him to go to the doctor. Yeah, I, it's tough because every piece of news we get about Che is filtered through Rat Dick, who right. is like the Hamas-controlled Ministry of Health. Yes, he is. They're like, oh, the, the Israeli rockets killed six billion people, all children yesterday. Mm -hmm. It's like, okay, well, Are you sure? I'm sure it killed some people and it's terrible, but I mean, you're you're exaggerating a little bit. Rat Dick, we just, we have no idea. We have no, and then Big Che too was also unreliable. Yeah, because Big Che might be a full blown trank addict. It's possible. We don't really know what he does on his free time. He he goes off sometimes by himself, and we don't know. Rat Dick does, claims he's never seen him inject trank into his leg. Okay, that's but good. It, right, but we don't really know that he doesn't do it yet. We don't know that. No, we know that on any given day, there's a very limited amount of ground he can cover mm. we do know that we should tag him <laughs> <laughs> we should put an air tag on him and and follow him around air see tag, what he does fuck that what do you think it goes you think it goes wh what kind of tag i you just think, have you ever seen a cow with a and they got the little thing in their ear the that's plastic? what we need really yeah i say we just come at him and just uh, dude honestly what about, like, fucking let's go to the next level let's put like you know those barrels and jaws yeah that they, that they shot <laughs> why don't we just attach one of those barrels to him so we <laughs> get a keg, for instance. Yeah. We drink it, or we just leave it here. These guys will drink it. Saltine, Austin Dino. Mm. And then we we chain the keg to a harpoon yeah. and we shoot it into Big Chase's side. You won't even feel it. Obviously, he's got an open wound in his leg. And it'll be exercise for him. Yeah. He'll be like, oh no. But then he'll he'll be too lazy to remove the harpoon. <laughs> he will, yeah. And from that point on, it'll just be like a weight fest. Yeah. And then we'll brand them with a Leo and Danny show logo. Oh, I love that. That's good advertising. Everybody at the sesh will tune in. Oh, yeah. Big Che, we, a lot is developing in Ratland. A lot, a lot is developing in Ratland. Yeah, it's crazy. Because he has been served formal eviction papers. Yeah, we probably, uh, yeah, yeah. He didn't tell us we could say that to everyone, but hey, he has. Has he told us not to say that? No, but, you know, it's like his personal, I mean, who cares? Should we not say it? Nah, we should definitely say it. What do you think? Oh, we're saying it. Okay. Well, you know, the, he, he's getting evicted. I mean, I, obviously. Here's he, the deal. And for you guys who were like, Danny, that wasn't cool. You put him on blast. And Danny, that wasn't cool. You got head from Rat Pussy Pam. Yeah. I mean, you're you're right. But that's not why he's getting evicted. You got blown by a gentleman never tells. Oh. Unless he's doing it in a sarcastic douchebag voice. Oh. Danny, why'd you have to fuck Rat Pussy Pam in the ass without a condom? 
while one of the dogs with worms was riding on her back. <laughs> I got to spice things up. I can't come otherwise. I'm desensitized from porn. Oh, God. He's getting evicted, though. It has nothing to do with the video was shot. It has to do with an outstanding balance of $2,500. So he told you. I didn't even hear about this. Leo, I'm not surprised he doesn't tell you what to think. He doesn't trust you. Okay. He really? Tr- he trusts me. Oh, I bet he really <laughs> trusts you. <laughs> it always works out for him trusting he, you. Leo... Ratic Ralph would get into my sable and drive with me right over to LAPD Central Station <laughs> he because would. he trusts me so much. You know, he really shouldn't trust either one of us at this point, huh? But uh, we've never steered him in the right direction. Well, we steer him in the right direction. It's just not only it's not always the the direction where his fears and his anxieties lie. It don't lie because they do lie in the places that we give him. Yeah, that we that we, we kind of point him to wow yeah that's that's a thought experiment that you just laid out for us right there yeah i think we drive him in the right direction because uh you know well the boy needs discipline his yeah, dad you, is a, you you run at your problems you yes. don't run away from them absolutely which direction haven't you seen that mil- that ad for the marines where it's like which way would you run right and it's a bunch of soldiers going like go move 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 and there's like a fucking f-16 mm. that military propaganda it applies to rat dick ralph and his fears correct it's uh, hey, I don't want to take a cold shower. I got to make myself. You don't want to get circumcised. You got to get <laughs> circumcised. Rat Dick Ralph needs to look a police officer in the eye and say, "I am Skyler Rat Dick Ralph Hazlitt, and I have sex with Rat Pussy Pam." And see what happens. I mean, he, there might be outstanding warrants, but whatever. Face your fears. Go. I mean, he might not be put directly in jail. I think he might actually be put directly in jail. I think there's a very high chance. But I, I want to say this too. Um, with we're leading him in this direction, which I think we can run this through the fans, but because they're going to support it probably, but he's been sh- putting out his penis online for yep. years now. Yeah. Yeah. So what is the difference between that and starting an only fans? So, so we have gotten, it's almost like the, 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 the Shohei Otani deal. It hasn't been signed yet, mm-hmm. but like she's verbally committed RPP mm-hmm. to blowing Skyler for only fans. So Ralph. we, we do have that. And we have a little bit more also. She's going to make out with a guy of our choice, but hopefully she'll end up blowing that guy too. So it's going to be either me or Leah. We're going to flip a coin <laughs> or we're going to flip a coin. or cam. And I think gonna, it should be either be you or a little cam. Yeah, sure. 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 Yeah. And I, I think it's going to be me or you mm-hmm. actually no cam. We're uh, trying to weasel out of this. We're going to have to make out. It, with RPP? No, no. So one of us is going to have to get our dick sucked. By oh, RPP. dude. If you get your dick sucked by RPP on OnlyFans, I mean, that's really going to be a, that's a lot of money there. Are you going to give that to Rat Dick? Rat Are Dick you just going to give him the video? Rat Dick Ralph is going to get proceeds from a fundraiser we do mm-hmm. involving a porn with him and Rat Pussy Pam. <laughs> Correct. And we are going to keep a roof over his head. That's right. You know, a, a fan came up to, not not a, well he's a fan too a guy i trained jujitsu with mm. gnarly brown belt shout out nick and he was like bro you know what you actually do a lot for rat dick ralph there's so many of those scuzz bags in la and nobody's looking out for him and you give that guy a platform that's right and i was like damn fucking right and then and we have and we share this to, with each other but there was a a expose a, a video that delved into Rat Dick from the beginning when we first met him on the podcast all the way through to what we're doing now. And this lady who made the video claims that me and Danny are just more than a good friend. We're really just the only lifeline he has. Shout out Derp Queen. Derp, Derp Queen. Queen. Derp Queen's a good girl. I mean, listen, Leo, I was there in 2020 when Rat Dick Ralph had seen death on the hood of a Prius mm-hmm. when he was getting kicked out of his apartment in Hemet. And what did I do? I shaved his head. <laughs> I tattooed my name on his head. Yeah. And then I scared the bejesus out of him in the Joshua Tree Desert. Yeah. When he was high on shrooms Mm -hmm. by dressing you up like the Grim Reaper. Correct. What happened when he once again came into my life in 2021? When the channel was going through some tough times and Mm -hmm. we we needed a pinch hitter. What did I do to reward him for coming in and pinch hitting? I coaxed an 80-year-old woman into shooting him square in the face with bear mace. Absolutely. That is the mark of somebody who cares. What did we do this last time with Crip Mac? We put him in front of a, a Crip. Yeah. Completely dressed in, in red. Whose idea was it to dress in red? It was it was our idea. What about yeah. the crab? The crab was also our idea. Yeah, yeah you're right. Yeah, I thought for right. a second maybe it was his idea. No, it was our idea. Yeah. And then we might have taken like three years off his life with mm. with police terrorism with yeah. the sable and yeah, but but again, we're making him run towards his problems. Yes, we not are. Not away. We are. You know, right now, he's got a rent problem. 
He yep. seems completely uninterested in paying it. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm telling him right now that he's got to march into his landlord's office, drop his pants, and face fuck rap pussy Pam. <laughs> Right there in the office. Dude, if we could do it right in front of the landlord oh. in the video. Oh. oh. Dude, there's so much potential for this video. There's so much. I'm going to hire. I'm going to hire. I'm going to do it. A rental attorney. Mm-hmm. An eviction attorney, actually, yeah. more specifically. I might try to get Jason Love to come in on this thing and be like, hey, fucking rap pussy Pam. Mm-hmm. You know what'll make up that rent sum in a jiffy? Is if Jason Love puts his 10-inch black fucking dick up your twat. Oh, we got to get her tested then, you know? Dude, I feel like a girl like rat pussy is built to take a big black cock. I mean, yeah, definitely. Most, a lot of Latinas of her size <laughs> do end up with black guys. It's true. <laughs> yeah. I uh, At some point... At some point, it becomes like administering an insulin shot to a walrus. Oh <laughs> if that walrus has diabetes, you're going to need a bigger gauge needle to even get through its oh, skin. The dude. same with big Latina women. They need a fucking a harpoon. Maybe she can borrow one from Big Shay. They need a fucking yeah. harpoon to yeah. feel anything in their pussy. She, you know how unsatisfied she must be with Rat Dick's penis? And it's not because Rat Dick has a small penis. It's because a, she has it's a big a little, ass. It's... That's I mean, a, I, that's a generous I, way. I heard a it. story from one of the only fans girls. I feel either that or an escort from our time here on uh, with the Leo and Danny show. It was some girl told me she, one time there was an Asian that was hitting a doggy with her. She has a big ass. And the guy was like, oh, your your butt is <laughs> your butt is too big. You know? <laughs> he was, he, he you probably know. like went to Cal State Long Beach. Right, he's just yeah. American as fuck. He's probably he's American. Just, but just in LA, there's a, he just wanders out of an opium den. <laughs> he's got one of those big mustaches. Like, oh, can I pay to <laughs> I fuck a you? Your uh, butt is uh, too big for a uh, doggy style. And she, so he says, your butt is too big for a uh, doggy style. And uh-huh. she's like, no, your penis is too small for my ass. Wow. So, was it that small? I think so. I think it was... It. Well, I don't think... It wasn't that small, to be honest. This girl was, like, strictly black guys. She was a strictly... Dickly. Who was this chick? I wouldn't I remember. remember. This would have scarred me. I don't remember who it was. She didn't tell me and you. I think it was just me on the side. Oh, yeah. When you were getting shady after the podcast? Maybe. What happened, buddy? Well, you know. No, I don't know. We get Please shady tell me. sometimes. We get shady? We get shady. Okay. Did you get... Have you ever... Have you ever crossed the line of professional taste after one of our podcasts no dude if you guys all saw me turn down <sighs> skyler uh sky Bree and uh and rara double blowjob um, it's a shame she has the last name is rat dick ralph or it's the first name the first name skyler, yeah, yeah. yeah skyler uh yeah dude i i turned that one down so yeah that's not gonna age well for a guy who always talks about sexual regret, oh, dude, you nah, well, up. whatever. It would have been nice, you know. They were just as big. I mean, now, dude, Sky Bree's getting like she gets like the top of the line likes on her pictures, like at like three hundred thousand. She is pretty damn hot. So she's, is Rara. She's a hot porn star. Yeah, she's pretty fucking. Hot. They're hot. Yeah, they're, they're, hot. they're hot chicks. Dude. They're hot chicks. And you know, I think that your grandfather, he's gonna and his father. They would all said, yeah. I think they would call you a fucking Maricone if they started. They They would probably. I think my grandfather from heaven, Uh he's calling me a Maricone. Both of them. Both Uh of them. Both of them are calling me a Maricone. You know, I'm reading this book on the, uh, it's just a history, it's a general history book I'm reading right now. Mm -hmm. And there was, around the time Christianity started, there were, I mean, throughout history, there have been just tons of religions popping up. But then in particular, there were all these little upstart religions, sort of like saplings in a forest, mm-hmm. all competing for the the best real estate in the sky where they're actually going to get sunlight and be able to grow. And one of the little early ones had some insane charismatic leader. And he said that womankind is the gateway through which the demon enters. <laughs> Wow. And for that reason, I think that maybe your uh, philandering grandpas might be in hell. Oh, stop it. (laughs) Both of my philandering grandfathers are in heaven, enjoying their whatever they're, you know, they're they're, one's probably boxing around or training boxers. And the other one is drinking, having to get having some nice food somewhere, Mm -hmm. you know, Mm -hmm. riding his motorcycle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're pimps. Yeah, dude, I'm fucking... The explosion of religion is interesting. It is. And now I'm starting. I mean, it's funny because the older I get, the kind of the more I believe because it makes it's tied more to like there's more proof and more science in a way if you look at it specifically. But it's it's interesting. I mean, I don't think there's anything wrong with being a religious guy. What do you think? Well, 
for you, it wouldn't really be compatible with your lifestyle because well, obviously, I Jesus am, was against sexual immorality. Oh, I know all that, but I take what I would benefits me from religion, and sure, I, sure, you know, it's like you, it's like you're at a buffet. Yes, I skip over the broccoli and stuff for that's a little the no pussy vegetable. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's a no pussy vegetable. <laughs> sure, sure. I go, you know, I go for the uh, the thou shall not kill. That's like the fucking pork. You take that. You're like, yeah, yeah. I'm not gonna kill anybody. I'm not gonna kill anybody. Let's, let's that means I'll get less pussy. Put a bunch of carnitas on the plate. Sure, you know? sure, sure. Yeah. Carnitas is definitely. Hmm. Yeah, that's uh, it, it's. Yeah, religion is just as much of a philosophy for a happy life as it is like some sort of spiritual thing. Mm -hmm. And that's one of the things that I remember reading last night while I was being a fucking loser in bed on the 31st of December. No negative self-talk, all right? But you, you were a winner in bed. I, I actually was because I got up early and I fucking... I haven't raped 2024 yet, yeah. but I... You know, you schemed or you, you woke up and schemed the possible rape of 2020. I did. I did. That's good. Yeah. I, I fucking, you, there was a diagram. Yeah. I, I ordered some tape. Good. I ordered some tape. And a shovel maybe. You yeah, know, absolutely. I might need that. But I, it, one of the things it said is that stoicism has a lot in common with Christianity. Stoic, you know about stoicism? Marcus Aurelius? Like kind of not letting anything bother you? Yeah, it's just like, don't be a bitch. That's right. Basically, you don't even need to read Ryan Holiday or Marcus Aurelius. Just don't be a fucking bitch. Correct. Well, like, it, he said that stoicism is Christianity without Christ. And, you know, Christianity, what is it if not a philosophy? It's a philosophy of pacifism. Turn the other cheek. If somebody fucks with you and talks shit, just be like, all right, I'll take it. Uh, can I, you know, buy you a warm coat or get you some lunch? Yeah. You know, just like fucking, that's, that's how you get revenge is you be kind. Mm. It's a philosophy of pacifism. Mm. And it's a philosophy of, um, well, I guess Jesus would be more permissive of an uncircumcised cock. <laughs> than, than would the Jews, for instance, the old school Jews. It's true. Hey, let's quit talking about religion. Where the fuck is Big Che and Rat Dick? Well, they're running a little late, but if you wanted to, you know, we could wait for them and uh, reconvene the pod. We've been going almost an hour or close to. No, it's okay. All right. So, Austin, what did you guys do last night? Because Shrooms. there's... I, before they lie, there's I like know they did a shrooms. battalion of firefighters out there, mm -hmm. and I'm wondering if there's any connection between there and I... Oh, I, I, I'm going to go ahead and say the, the, a house about three three houses down from you on the same side of the street, it burned down. Okay. So what's going on, man? I mean... I mean, those are the... I mean, the only... The, the, the only black neighbors that we have. Okay, are, stop. Oh, that right. is not what it is. That's not why it burned and, down. And maybe they were playing with fireworks in that, in their in backyard. their house. Okay. And they probably accidentally burned it all down. That doesn't even make sense. If they were Chinese... They would be playing with fireworks. Like that's well, Mexican guys and black dudes in the city like fireworks. Mex dude, I live in a very Mexican neighborhood down the street, and it, it sounded like the fucking I, I don't know. It sounded like World War One last night at midnight, and it woke me up. You were sleeping. I was. Yeah. yeah. You weren't even waiting for the midnight. The no, midnight day. What? What, what's going to happen? I'm going to feel different. Well, you know, it's just uh, you know, just another. I mean, I don't know. Don't you want to kind of be up for all of them? for all of what have you all the new years dude like there's like there's an i don't know there's no urge to be up for it i don't know i guess you're right why not why not sleep through it but it is kind of i don't know i feel like it's a task that i must do is be up for all of them mm, okay is that is that real yeah it's real okay well congratulations thanks man yeah or you go fuck yourself. <laughs> Weren't you at your parents' house last night? Yeah, I stayed up with them. We watched CNN. It was hilarious, dude. The uh, we Julia was just kept, you know, every time there was a gay, some gay stuff, I was like, here it is again, the gay stuff. Uh -huh. He like just wanted to point out all the gay stuff. So CNN, how are they incorporating the new DEI agenda? How are they? Well, uh, gay serial killers. Well, there were two gays hosts, basically okay. podcasting it up. And then they would cut away to a drag show that was like, wait, hey, what show was this? This was CNN, like New Year's Eve. Didn't like, he see? Didn't he say like CSI? You said CSI. No, I said C CNN. I he said CSI. Did I? I think so. I, well, I, I wasn't. Thinking... I wasn't watching CSI <laughs> okay. New York with my dad on New Year's. <laughs> That's very random. Like, oh, look at all these gays on CSI. Yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm fucking... sure there's a lot of gays on CSI. Maybe there's like a drag queen detective. Yeah, was, yeah I'm like, sure. I'm going to find the body before you do, Tad. <laughs> it was CNN New Year's Eve, like, you know, their little celebration that they do, you know, Anderson Cooper and that other guy. It's just funny to watch because it's crazy how much of the gay agenda they need to push. I don't know. I don't get it. Is uh -huh. that because it's like, 
I, I just don't get it. Do you, I don't get it. It's supposed to be a family show, but they would cut away to drag queens. There was like a, a drag queen. There was a, they, were, they were all shirtless and having a pie eating contest. This was like family stuff. And then at midnight, the first per people they show kissing, you can go ahead and guess who who were they? Who would you say? If you're CNN, uh, and, probably a Marine who just got back from overseas and his, mm. his beautiful wife is greeting oh, yeah? him at the airport mm. with her dog. Oh, wow. <laughs> is that, am I correct? Am I on the right track? You are so off. Buddy. Oh, wow. It was an interracial gay kiss. It oh, was okay. a black man and a, and a white man. Wow. How did they slip that in without it seeming like very labored? Dude, I don't know. They just did it. Okay. They just wild. don't care anymore. They don't care anymore. Now it's just like everybody's gay, like like everywhere on CNN. Like if, you, if you're just a regular consumer and you just watch CNN because like you, you don't think there's much else out there. You're just going to see strictly gays out there. Did wow. you see the White House like Christmas video? Like your dad would have loved that, man. It's just a bunch of gay oh. people tap dancing. It was like the most sacrilegious thing I've probably ever seen in my life. And it was at the White House. <laughs> Dude, it's it's I don't know. I, I don't, I've probably seen something more sacrilegious than that. Hmm. And you double teamed the chick on a beach with cigar guy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, we tag teamed it was like oh no, excuse me for saying you're both yeah. of your hard cocks were in the same vicinity at the same time all right it, let's not forget yeah austin let's forget. austin let's you forget. you are very picky and choosy at the buffet of christianity as well <laughs> yeah <laughs> that's the double teaming cigar with a double teaming a girl on the beach <laughs> with cigar guy is going to come back to bite you in the ass yeah game. austin it's like, going to come back to I'll bite take you. a double serving of base <laughs> I'll take an entree of Trump 2024 mm -hmm. and oh homosexuality, P.U., chef. And I'm gonna like he'll throw it at the guy's yeah, face. No. But then when it comes to putting his fucking meat into a chick who's sucking a vagrant bisexual <laughs> uh, incontinent on a beach mouth. That would happen. Mouth. <laughs> yeah, I just, I fucked her and this cigar guy fucked her afterwards. I heard you guys were in there at the same time. I just, no. you know what? Like, all Which is fun. <laughs> All these double teams and like fucking, they, I think they're all kind of inspired by you, dude. Because you basically, when we started the channel, it, you you talked about all these double teams with your buddies and San Fran and Vu and stuff. And then like, Fu, and then it, it became like a thing where fans want to do it. That's why the threesome with RPB happened. Sure, sure. You know, it's because they wanted to make you proud. And I feel like Austin was during he was he was definitely less of a of a guy that was a friend and more of a fan then. So he was trying to impress you. Yeah. No, it was really just that chick just like really, really wanted to fuck. Well, she probably listened. She did listen to the podcast. That's right. And she picked up on it. They never give us any credit, dude, for all the pussy they've gotten. You know, I like to think of myself as the, um, you know, the, 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 who was the Donner party? Like, uh, <laughs> Uh, who's the the patriarch of the Donner party? Whatever, John Donner. Yeah, I like to think of myself Mr. as the Donner. John Donner of the double team, dude. That's right. You know, and um, sometimes I have to eat my daughter's corpse. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I'm really getting at. Do we really? Nobody that's, knows what uh, nobody happened. Nobody knows. That's yeah. like a, that's a California history thing. Yeah, there was the Donner party, which California history is kind of whack. Like, there's no reason for anybody to know the Donners party's name but they were these fucking jack offs who tried to cross over the sierra nevadas mm. before highway 80 was a thing and before southwest had planes in the air mm -hmm. and they they did it like on they started their journey on like december 1st and then they were fucking real confused when they were freezing and stranded and they had to eat dead bodies yeah, I learned quickly that what? you can't travel during the winter just from playing Austin Oregon. Austin was too stoned to remember. Oh, he went to school in Texas. Continue though. Just from playing Oregon Trail, dude. If you started in December, you'd be fucked. Yeah, you can't do that, dude. No. And I, again, I, I am the the cannibal pioneer of double teams. And, you know, I might recruit Fu. He's engaged now. But Fu and I can double team 2024. Wow. His bachelor, his bachelor party's coming up, dude. It's in, like, I'm a little... It's in, like, the most random date it's february 20th or something and it's just like who is ready to go to a bachelor party on february 20th yeah that's strange we should go and film it though probably huh i don't think they would love that oh we're not gonna film the guys i think we should just go film like your little side missions yeah you know that works yeah it's just for me like avn last year I went with Nico to film a little bit for, for Patreon, but everybody's getting hammered and like Adam 22 has got a booth. I'm, it's January 7th. Like I know that technically there is no calendar. 
and nobody's keeping track of the years and like a cosmic level. And it's really just this this infinite march forward through this illusion we call time. But it seems to me I attribute a little bit of significance to the start of the year. As I said, I support the New Year's resolution. Mm -hmm. And to me, starting off the year by getting blacked out with with OnlyFans girls and porn stars in the city of sin is a little bit counterproductive. So you think that this February date is just a mistake? I think we should push off to summertime, maybe. I think it's got to be in the second half of March. Where Otherwise, does he want to go? Come. Does he want to go to Miami? Vegas? Miami. Oh well, then it doesn't. Yeah, the weather's going to be nice down there. It's just like, and those guys right now are all in Mexico. They're like in Tulum, and I'm just like, do your do your livers ever take a break? It seems like most people that work in the in the regular world, they need their drinking. They need uh, their partying. It seems like it's something that I've realized quickly is like, don't worry about it if you didn't party that much in college because people seem to party more and more and more as they get older nowadays. It seems like all my buddies are fucking there. I mean, they, uh, one of the my most rich buddy goes to to Columbia three times a year now. Yeah. Three times. And dude, I saw a video, Danny, of Columbia that I don't I don't know. I I mean, I don't know what to say. It was just a How old was the girl they killed? (laughs) (laughs) It was a not film jokes. Listen, buddy. It Uh, was a tall, handsome American, and all he was doing was walking down the street in Medellin, Colombia. Uh Uh-huh. And the amount of women that were young and beautiful and just saying hello to him uh, was out of control. It sounds like a reversal of that video that came out like 10 years ago with a girl walking down the streets of New York City mm-hmm. getting catcalled. There was mm-hmm. a guy walking in front of her with a backpack with a GoPro on it aimed backwards. Mm-hmm. And every construction worker and businessman and fucking... Asian I've guy in a sandwich yeah. shop. Mm-hmm. It sounds like the opposite of that. It kind of doesn't sound like it's real. It, be- yeah. Because I just, I do not believe that no matter what circumstances it is, I don't believe that a guy walking down the street is going to have more than one woman per day say hi to him. Now, what what I think is what it is, is just a, a boatload of hot prostitutes. I think that's what it was. It was just that's a bunch of prostitutes. And apparently, according to my buddy, he goes over there, my rich friend, he said about $50. About $50. About $50 will get, get you a fine-looking Latina. Dang. And $25 more, you can punch her in the jaw. Oh, $25 more, you can do whatever you want. <laughs> See, that's why when y'all really get your big break, like y'all land the Netflix special or something, you just need mm-hmm. to go on a pussy pilgrimage like around the world, Leo. We could, Before man. Before you're too old. Yeah, I'm gonna go to yeah. Mecca. Mine's gonna be that's, that's gonna be my pilgrimage to Mecca. Oh, you're actually going to Mecca. I'm gonna to go on an pussy? actual pilgrimage. To, it, <laughs> it's gonna be a pussy pilgrimage to Mecca. I'm gonna challenge myself. If I have a Netflix special of some sort, whether it's video stuff out in public, or, yeah, I am gonna cause you. You're a bottom feeder. You're a carp. Okay. You're going to go to Miami or Medi. Yeah, I'm Scott's going Dale, to even Mecca. Easier. Scott, I, even easier. I'm going to go see if I can get one of the most religious women on earth who is oh like God. on her fucking knees praying to Allah in front I'll of the one big up rock. You. I'll one up you, dude. Where I'll you go going? to the Aborigines in Australia. That's going to be, it'd be so, all you got to do is show them something shiny and they'll suck your dick. I don't know about that. <laughs> yeah, dude. Dude. I don't well, think so. I, you think Aborigines are oh, yeah. known for their chastity? If I carry around some, some cubic sarconia, dude, some fucking just. Here, I think hey, a penny will do it. A penny, a shiny copper penny. Yeah, I think it'll do it. Okay, well, why don't we? You, a, a can of Coke, then. Should I bring a can of Coke? It's I shiny. think a Coke would be very, very valuable in their eyes. Oh, okay, so you think I just go into the Aborigine in fucking Australia with just a Coca Cola? I mean, can. dude, that what you just said, that's like asking. That, that'd be like asking me, like, hey, Danny, do you think I, Leo Dottavio, could walk onto an Indian reservation at 10 p.m. on a Saturday <laughs> and get my dick sucked? Yeah, and I'll bro. be like, fucking obviously. All right. Well, I yeah, mean, I mean, the only problem will be if the chicks are like passed out in a puddle of their vomit at that point. Oh, but I mean, if you, dude, of course. All right. I'm going right, to man. Mecca. Well, you know, how am I going to one up you then? It's got to be something crazy. I don't know. I got I to gotta go to I got to go to Israel then. And be no, no, and I gotta fuck. dress as a Palestinian. That'd be something. Yeah, that'd yeah. be hard. To, I could still probably do it because of a taboo. Yeah, you think they do? It? Do you I think there's would. some there's some girls that have snuck into Gaza to bang a guy uh, like the, from Tinder? N- oh, you think that's like their black guy? A hundred percent, it's their black guy. That is funny. That is funny. Dude. Don't you think it's true though? <laughs> <laughs> that is their like. There's like a whole BBC porn, but yeah. it's fucking. It's it's like a West Bank. Yeah. Like fucking cream pie West Bank. Yeah, Damn. cream pie. Dude, we got to. 
That'd Dude, be nice. Leo, how great would that be? I would love to dress there you. Up. What's is. up, Ratic? Your pupils look good, baby. Ratic is. In not the bad, building. dude. Hey, Rat we got the Rattic mom. is in the building, and his eyes look like he's not on Molly, which we're very happy oh, about. Big Chad. Big Chad. Big... I thought his fucking mom, he started making a bitch fit out there. Wait, should we, should we bring her up? No, okay. Oh, shit. Oh. This, big Chad? What's up, Big Chad? I'm not calling you a bitch. Okay, Big Chad, are we getting oh, this? Oh, I said shit. you're making a bitch fit. Oh, 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 shit. Wait, wait, wait. Big Chad, what's Chad, what do you call him? Let's do a podcast. I'm not calling you a bitch. I said you're making a bitch Hey, wait, what did you call? You're calling a bitch. Dude, what kind of bitch? Wow, Big J. Don't you ever come? I'm not calling oh, you a bitch, Big J, what's going oh, on, brother? Made a bitch fit. Take your mic and sit down. What kind of bitch me? Whoa, holy shit! This is action Dude, here. What the fuck? Is... Sit down, Big J. We're starting the podcast on a lively <laughs> note. This guy is, this guy's being crazy. <laughs> when it comes to right, you, you made your mom cry in the car. She wanted to come on the podcast, and you made her cry. Why'd you make her cry? Bitch. I said you were right. made a bitch fit. Don't call me Dude, back, back oh, up. Dude, back Oh, shit, dude. Why are you punching right. me, bro? All right, can you guys, you guys got to make dude, up. I respect you, so I'm not going to punch you Let's, back, dude. dude nah. I respect Danny enough. Dude, you're strong. Thank you, right, Dick. I appreciate that. He's being crazy. He, he fucking socked me. Dude, hey, I'm going to say right me? now, you're a strong guy. I just took you to fucking Don't rat pussy Pam's bitch, parents' dude. house. I said you're making Don't a fit. Why you calling me a fit? Don't Why are you making a fit? Don't, Don't call him that, right, Dick? He's acting crazy right now. Why right, are you acting crazy? You got to be careful throwing Your around the B word. Your mom wanted to come on the podcast. You made her cry outside because she wanted to come on. And she's out. Joe thinks I'm going to embarrass him. She was gonna talk about your early childhood and fucking your penis size and shit. I don't need to talk about my penis size. Why you keep talking about my penis because size? Because I'm bro? if I'm gonna keep being my best friend, you gotta pull out your fucking cock eventually and stop punching no. me, you fucking crazy yeah, fucking. Che. Stop oh, punching no, me. Dude, you gonna punch me stop. again? Dude. You better quit talking calling me shit. Well, listen, Chase. You, 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 you said you were gonna you were gay Why after you four years. Names and shit? But, what the fuck is your problem? I'm not calling you names. You said you were gay after four years. Stop punching Oh what shit. The fuck? Rattic, stop, me, dude. Stop this saying. Me, okay, you guys got to make up. Can you guys, you guys sit gotta down? Make up. We got to sit down. All right, let's mediate this. Let's That's mediate good. this. That was good. That, that was good. That was good. What that was the good. Fuck? Hey, let's finish that knuckle pound. That was good. Yeah, right? Finish the knuckle pound. Rattic, holy shit, dude. This Bro, was. Guy, me up on your now. <laughs> oh my god, this is. <laughs> sit down, dude. Bro. Sit down. I'm gonna use this moment. We just. Uh, I'm gonna Maggie use this like, moment right now to plug. I just got assaulted by this guy. He has. Special challenges, his special needs. I'm not gonna. Trip well, he's out got him. a hell of a left hook. Yeah, he's, yeah. he's punching. Dude, Big Jay, you're broadcast. strong as shit, dude. And he has challenges. Big Jay like, is can strong. Can you talk about your challenges, Big Jay? Like, what challenges do you face every day? You're strong, you're dog. Mental challenges. I'm not mental. I know you're not mental. Why into you the microphone, me? Big Jay. If you yeah, don't mind. Into the mic. Why is that talking shit about me? Yeah, no, stop talking shit about Jay. You're yeah. acting crazy. You're punching. That's that's pretty. He pushed the camera out. You punched me. That's kind of mental. Wow. I'm not mental. You just assaulted me on his podcast. Why did you do Thank that? Thank you, by the way, for Why giving us the rating. Big Jay, you're the man, dude. Thank you for that. That was good. That, that was right. awesome. Is that because I recorded you puking last night and my dad was okay, hey, sexually big, assaulting you? Big Jay, before we continue, was that my blood or have, wine? My, my girlfriend's dad wanted to have sex with you last night. You know that. I'm trying to leave. All right. All right. Well, he was all into over the, into the you. mic. Are you mic. taking out your anger on me? Is that what so you're wait, did me? you Was that blood or wine last night? That was Big chain. Oh, okay. Into, so the, into the microphone. Into, if you big chain. Talk into the mic. Into the mic. You're so you're at the, this fucking Echo, What is that? What is that? Well, you're you're a little you're you're fucking you're crazy, bro. You're you're lucky you're at this podcast studio. I can't just fucking. If you're in the streets. You do that shit to me, bro. I would fucking. What would you have done up. in the streets, Reddy? Uh, I would have fucking hit him in his fucking. I would hit him back. But Damn. I fucking have enough respect for you not to do that. He, Thank I guess you. He doesn't. He doesn't respect you. He doesn't respect me at all. He's gonna fucking punch. I'm supposed to be better. Bring in my house and feed you on my fucking food. I feed you my fucking feed. You're, that's how you fucking repay me, bro. I brought you to my girlfriend's parents' house. You're gonna fucking punch me. What, what do you have to say about that, Jay? Big Shay. Not a piece of shit. That's that's what a piece of that's shit does. Calling do. me a piece of shit. That's what a piece of shit does. I'm they not punch a piece their friends. Of shit. They go crazy and punch their fucking friends. That's what a piece of shit move, dude. Big Shay, what is it he's done recently that's made you so mad? Why the father yesterday was going crazy. What happened with your dad yesterday? Uh, well, my girlfriend's dad it's sexually RPP. assaulted his mom, and he didn't do shit about it. He slapped his ass, and jo Joe's just like, what? He walked this way, then that way. So wait, his, your... My girlfriend's dad slapped, slapped the fuck out of his mom's ass in front of Joe, and he didn't do anything about it. He's like, what? I didn't even know he was going to go over there. He sexually assaulted your mom. Now you're assaulting me? What the fuck, dude? This is you're action. taking out your, your sexual assault anger on me? I'm starting to see why. sexually assaulted your mom? 
Rat Pussy Pam's dad is so permissive of Rat Dick now. It's well, yeah. starting to chill. I always pictured him as like a guy with a briefcase and a tie. No, he's in a tank top and he's the man, dude. A, wife, a wife beater, perhaps? <laughs> he's in a wife beater and he's slapping some ass. Right. Since no, you're no, fucking no. Rental car. So yeah. this guy, he fucking rented a car under my girlfriend's name. And he thinks it's his fucking car. He's like, oh, I want to rent a car and go take the... F- I want to go to your girlfriend's well, did parents' house. you pay house. for it? Why did you fucking want to pay for it, you fucking... <laughs> That's the, that's the stupidest thing anybody's ever done. Let me fucking send $180. Just give you $180 so you could fucking take me into your girlfriend's parents' house. And he bought a brisket today. And that's that's cool he bought a brisket after my that girlfriend's cool. dad sexually assaulted your mom. Uh, that's that's we, how we you keep harping on that part. Why are we... Why don't you bring her up here? Why are you talking about my mom Because for? they were going to pay her $100 bring her up. And you started screaming at your mom outside. And I didn't scream at her. You're like, don't come on. You're going to embarrass me. No, I didn't. He said, you're going to embarrass well, His me. knowledge of geography already did more of that than... Um, mm. excuse yeah, me. and saying he was going to be gay after four years. Me still sticking around being so much friend. I said, they're going to be gay for years. How long has it happened since you've been sex, Big Joe? Why are you guys asking those questions for Because you never answered. You, you I don't need to ask those questions. It's been 10, 15, 40, 20 years? I don't need to ask those questions. I don't need to ask those <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's questions. been 20 years since let's, you fucked. Ever, let's stop. Now, when you say these kind of mean things to each other as friends, some of them can cross the line and you can really... That's why you start punching me. Yeah, like well, you could really hurt retarded. each other and it could start change the like dynamic retarded. of your friendship. So I think before you get... You oh, guys, a friendship? I'm, I'm using him... Uh, it's a friendship content type of thing. I'm, no, you're... Oh, you're Ratzik, don't say that. Don't say that. No, we're, we're making great content out of him. He's Ratzik. a great friend. He's a nice guy. You guys nice are more guy. than just content partners. We're Come content on, partners. man. You guys are like me we're and Danny, dude. We're content We're not friends. We're content partners, No, right? no, you're, you're, you're friends. You're friends. I don't know. You guys known each other way before, before you came back onto the show. Uh, I, was, I was friends with him over the summer, and we were really chill. You know, I'd pull up my penis, and he would just laugh like, huh, 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 you have a small dick. I never said that. Yeah, you did. No. Well, and now, now he's, he's he was taking thinking because my family is sexually assaulting his family. So now he wants to take well, the air out, punch me. Because I, that should make I you guys said, closer. Why did he even punch me in the first place? Because I said because I said he was trauma bonds. Have you heard of something I called said, a trauma a bond? I said you had a fit. Listen, listen, me. Have you heard of what, what? You know what a trauma? I'm not calling you a bitch. There's a difference. Dude, that's and Big J saying I'm trying to find you a lover on the street. Call me a bitch. That's not calling you a bitch. I'm trying to find you a lover. Dude, don't punch don't me, bro. I'm not calling you a fucking bitch. Chill the fuck out, bro. I, and trying Dude. to find you a lover doesn't I got mean my, my money's on Che, dog. Yeah, Big Che. If you we got had, a power if we punch, could really dude, box. I'll say that if right we could really box, we should have a fair boxing match. And he's just going crazy on me, bro. You're just going well, crazy. He's calling me no names. So I want to have a, we should have a boxing match. Just this is how you really no feel. Names. We can't do it in this fucking podcast studio. You fucking it's unsafe. There's You're a lot of crazy, equipment too. dude. There's at least a couple hundred dollars worth yeah, of equipment. Yeah, this fucking thing also pushed on Danny. Off stuff, but stop <laughs> calling me names. Yeah, hey, right? I said you were having a fit. Stop calling me that. That's not calling you yes, anything. Is. That's an action yes, you were doing. I'm teaching you a lesson no, today. Hey, listen, shit and fit, dude. Don't anything that sounds like here. shit, don't say it, dude. Don't say anything that sounds like fucking uh, your don't piece of shit. And, or, and quit or bringing like up that, that your girlfriend's partner. father slapped his dear mother's ass. Dude. Yeah, that's not cool to bring up. Yeah. yeah well, I did uh, get my girlfriend's dad to put out a piece of corn on me by like a, he's sucking, I was sucking his dick. So we're making strides to have gay sex represent his father. Wow. Jesus Christ. I mean, and this guy was there. I was trying to have a gay threesome with him. The world you live in. I was trying to get you to do it. I wanted to sleep in the car. Yeah, nice. because uh, my family, well, Rapsom's dad sexually assaulted your mom, and you guys wanted to leave. And I was like, You've said that leave. like 10 times. What well, can you stop? I can, I can stop saying it, but it's just, it was so, it was such a, like, a crazy experience. Now, it sounds like it. Yeah. Do you Nine see, years. how long do you guys really see this relationship between each other going? I mean, you guys right now, my if it's this rocky, food. oh my God, stop. <laughs> if it's this rocky right now, <laughs> Uh, until I stop making it. I will say, Ratnik is always that. I think is your. It's only me making the attempt here. If I, I, I stop hitting up. Would there be no? If I tell him, Joe, don't come over today. I, I will say, I Ratnik, relationship at any point. Ratnik is kind of a master of fat humor. Yeah. You know what else he had some really good fat jokes is in the mud flap. Unbelievable. In the mud flap Joshua Tree video. He was yeah. also killing it with some fucking oh, fat jokes. Dude, he was, dude. Yeah. Well, how he started the the just the 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 thread when he was talking, the, like when he when he started the fight with mud flap oh, in yeah. the group chat. Just immediately out of nowhere, it doesn't even know Mudflap. He's like, "What's up, Fat Flat? What's going on?" It was fucking. It was it was a gnarly little entrance. But so now it seems. To come up, Joe. Is, do is, you, see, Radic? I just realized like this is Radic figuring out what it's like to deal with Radic. Yeah. Why didn't you want your mom to come and talk about your childhood life? You said you're gonna be embarrassed. 
Is there a lot of embarrassing did you, okay, shit you did? Uh, big shade. Did you not want your you know, mom? No, your on mom the pod? told me you dressed up in a dress when you were a little it's kid. It's okay if you, you don't really want pretty. if you don't you want your you mom. If Big Shade doesn't want the mom on the pod, dress up in dresses okay. when he was wait, wait, wait say that. Look, stop, look, stop. Look Shay in the eye before you say that. Say your that. mom told me in private that when you were a little kid, you would dress up and you say, "I'm pretty, I'm pretty," in a dress. Why did we that up for? You know, a lot of people wore dresses when they were younger, right? Dick? I, I, did, I think there might be some. That doesn't make some transgender adventures in the future with you. Listen, transgender adventures. No, leaving it. It's nothing wrong with with Big Che wearing a dress. Yeah, I want to see him in a dress. I'm wearing that shit. Your mom likes seeing a dress. Do I look like I'm wearing a fucking dress? I mean, maybe if no, we I'm pay not. you, if we pay you five hundred dollars. Well, gay for pay. Ratic, no. you're insinuating the man is gay. Okay, and that's not... He said it's been for four years. He said he'd be gay after four years in the last I week. I didn't say I was going to be for gay, so why the fuck keep bringing up shit? Why do you keep we, bringing up that stuff? Shay, don't worry. It? He's gayer than you. One time he tried to make a guy suck his dick, dude. Like, during... Yeah. When, they, when they were I railing his girl. I tried to make them their cocks on the weekly. And he was, they were railing his girl in the other room, and he was trying to make one of them suck his dick, dude. So don't worry, bro. Like, that... He, he's been That's down the game. Dick wanted to take the power back. Like that guy was stealing Rat Dick's hey, power that by strength, fucking bro. his bitch. So Rat Dick needed to like, you take do. his power you back. Have retarded like, strength. You have retarded strength. So Rat Dick, it's let a retarded me, amount of strength that well, you have. It, it seems stop. like we've so reached so retarded. How crazy! <laughs> stop saying you know retarded. Know I mean. It's just yeah. that retarded <laughs> amount of strength. It, it's see, I get what you're doing you're there. You're, I'm saying your strength was retarded. Uh, sure, sure, sure. Wow, that's so retarded. That's you know? a very clever way of calling somebody <laughs> retarded. Ratic, the cat is out of the bag. We understand, and the audience understands as well, that we are going to do an OnlyFans fundraiser to get Rat PP and Ratic Ralph back oh, yeah. on track when oh, it comes yeah. to rent. Oh, yeah. So we want to talk about my financial situation. I'm a little behind because I've been feeding him food every day. Stop. <laughs> Was that a fat joke? You me food all day. You cover my food and you have my fridge. How, How much does that cost? Buy food too. Yeah, you buy food too. How much does that cost, Ratic, to feed him? <laughs> about $40 a day. That's not that bad. Yeah. I think it's a bonding thing. I mean, Big Shay obviously has to be in the room when, when Rat Dick's getting blown, and If right? we buy chips, we'll eat the entire bag in like five seconds. Well, he should be eating chips in the background of you getting blown in the video. Hey, what about this Big Shay? Maybe Rat Dick should run this by him because I, I want whatever anger comes out of Big Shay today to be directed at him and not me. Yeah, that's right. I do not want to quiz Big directed Shay. directed at my eye not a good he day. just sucks, right. right, Shay? There'll be no you geography quizzes. Your homies, bro? Jesus. No, it's, I it's, guess we're not homies, right? But what do you think? How are you going to get home, Big Che? My fucking right. It's not your right. It's under my name. It's under my girlfriend's name. Did you pay for it? Well, it's under my girlfriend's name. Right pussy is really not concerned That was pretty retarded of you to pay for it. It should be more rent a car. That was pretty fucking retarded of you to pay for it. They look pretty similar. Yeah. Bro, you're going to start punching me again? You're going to start punching me again, Big Che? Then we'll fucking... Dude, let's do this right. This is a truce liable to break and boil over into violence at any point. You calling fucking... You calling... You think you punch me left and right? you calling me retarded for? What the fuck are you I'm saying your strength was retarded. Retarded that you had. Because I'm sick and tired. Of you come to my house every day. Maybe you should stop coming over every day, Che. Fuck. Damn. Damn. Dude. We're seeing the end of Fuck, like one dude. of the most. Stop coming to my house. Fuck. I couldn't find it. The, the, the episode I mean, today was titled "Rejection of Fucking Che." I can't find you, pussy, dude. It's impossible to find you a girl to fuck. Stop. You're never gonna get pussy. Rat dick. You what? got you got a demon inside you. Today. Yeah, you do. That just came out right there. And what about Rat Pussy Pam? If you were a real friend, you'd lend her out. I asked her, and she said no. And what? I, I'm good. She's, I'm so glad she's not willing to fuck someone like him. What do you mean, dude? He's your buddy. He's not also anymore. got he the, one of the best hairlines I've ever anymore. seen. What the fuck's your problem? He's a dude. handsome guy. Shut up. Was it the first time he's ever hit you? Yeah. And now we're not friends anymore, dude. So I hope that was worth it. Yeah, you better take me home. I want to take you home. Right, Dick. We can make this up. I'm not taking you home. We can make up right now. You could get him to pay you the money he's giving you for an Uber, bro. Enjoy that fucking Uber ride home, too. Yeah, yeah. I'm not taking. Why would I take him home? He's punching me. I don't want to fucking retarded dude in my car punching me. Rattic, what do you stop calling me retarded? Well, stop punching me. Stop calling me names. And stop punching me, bro. I haven't even punched you. You just punched me four fucking times, I dude. You a big black eye, you fucking crazy motherfucker. Rattic, you're exaggerating. You don't have a big black eye. But well, let's do this. How about this, Rattic? If you agree right now to stop insulting Che, I will insult him. I well, listen to me. Stop. Listen to me. Listen to Danny. You guys. The people have come to love you guys. Yeah. You guys are a comedy team as great potentially as Dottavio and Mullins. True. People, they look at, listen, he, listen, to, listen to me. I know. He runs away. I know. Whatever. People fuck up. People do, they get mad at each other. They get at each other's throats. Ratic, right now, I need you to agree that the rest of this podcast, you won't insult Che or his family or his intelligence. And if I'll you insult well, his family. No, I, like I don't want mom. you to insult him. I don't even want you to make any comments about his appearance or his eating habits. That's right. The overweightness. I don't want anything to do with any of that. 
No retarded. Does that sound yes. good, Big Che? Yeah. I'm going to shut that I down. I can't talk about being but, retarded. No, being shut overweight. up. Shut right tick, right tick. But can't talk about being a drug effect, no addict. Can't talk about. Um, Stop. You're puking. throwing around the fentanyl accusations now, huh? Well, he falls asleep everywhere. I don't do fentanyl. Maybe he's just All the sleeping. homies at the sesh say you do fentanyl. No, I don't. That's why you fall asleep. You have the big do wound do on your leg. Why do you have the wound on your leg? Can you I show us your leg? I do fentanyl. Well, this is the last time we're ever going to see you, Joe. So can you show us your leg? Ratik does not seem <laughs> to be in the mood to extend an olive branch right now. No. No, I'm tired of this fool. Punching me and shit. What the fuck? Well, man? that's what I was getting at. I was going to say that if you withhold the barbs I for the rest of the episode, find another maybe he would Stop. promise to not hit you anymore. You know, if he could promise to not hit you. Big Che. People love Big Che, right, Dick? Right yeah, now. I'm not going to love him anymore. He could do his own shit. <laughs> people, people love Big Che, okay? Uh, somebody, fuck? somebody at the gym came up to me today and said they love he loves you, but he also loves Big Che. He's like these guys are gold. Well, this guy's not a reader, right? So he's not gonna be able to do any content on his own. Yeah, you don't you need, need to read or write to be able to do content. You definitely don't need. Him. No, you don't need to read. You can't get within a mile of a police station a without keeping YouTube it together. On. He doesn't know how to look up your name on YouTube. He's not even subscribed to you. Is that true? <laughs> Can we? We should probably no. watch him try to find Danny <laughs> Mullen on YouTube. He, he's never no. gonna be able to start a content channel. I was his biggest hope of getting famous. He's stalking me. Wait, because I said he was having a bitch fit. Wait. That's how I mean names. I'm not you calling you names. I'm calling you names. Fit. You were calling me a name right now. What are you saying? Bitch, bitch. What is that? That that, that means, that oh, is. I don't want my mom to come on because she's going to embarrass me. I just, I fucking, I spent two days with your well, mom to so come on Ratic, the podcast. Bro. We got to respect too that not everybody. She was walking but, up and listen to me. was like, Big Joe doesn't want me to come on. Listen to me. Well, maybe. He's embarrassed of me. Listen, I will <laughs> say this, that not everybody is as open with their life as you are. You're willing to share your woman with fans. You are willing to go shoot a video with your dad. Maybe Big Che wants some parts of his life to be private. And you have to respect parts, those boundaries. Like dressed up in a dress? You gotta, no. you gotta respect <laughs> those boundaries, dude. Like, I, I, you know, sometimes somebody in the channel doesn't want to film a video or do an ID. And I'm like, oh, come on, man. I'll try to talk him into it. But if, if I try to talk them into it and they say no, then you gotta drop it. You yeah. can't keep harassing them up the stairs and calling them retarded. Because I would have just fucking gone crazy and just fucking got a fight with this guy right here. And it would have been fucking... I don't know if it would have gone well. Made. I don't know. Scene made. I th he might have thrown you out that window. No, Dude, I would have thrown him out like the window. He's a fucking <laughs> thrown you out that <laughs> window. What are you going to say? You're going to throw out the window. I'll well, throw you out the window. window. The I was, that's what I was saying. You would throw him out yeah, the window. Yeah, we think that you... My money's on Che, dude. He's my money might be on... We have a real boxing match somewhere because that's bullshit. I, I'm just I'm going to take the punch because I fuck with you guys. I don't kick Thank off the you, crew, but... When yeah, his... If the wound if the wound fully heals... I could have gone crazy, too. I could be just as retarded as him, you know? I'm not retarded. Oh, my God. Okay, I'll stop calling you. stop calling me names. Well, you punch me. Names. I can still feel the pain. So maybe so you have to feel the pain a little longer. Names. Hey, what's the ABCs, bud? I don't to say ABC. ABC. I don't know my fucking ABCs. I do know my fucking ABCs. Let's hear it, Big J. A, B, C, D, A, B, C, D, H. <laughs> <laughs> I know my ABCs. There's EFG in there, but it's, cool, it's okay. It's cool. <laughs> hey, that's know. solid. <laughs> I don't <That's>... know. <laughs> hey, Big J. I... You're the man, dude. Don't even fuck the ABCs. Yeah, dog. fuck the ABCs. Fuck first grade education. Dude. The ABCs are for fuck fucking first grade, fuck second for grade, fuck third grade, fuck all that shit. You know what I'm saying? Hey, hey, we're going on the record right now. Leo Danny show ABCs are for pussies. Dude. ABCs fuck are for fucking ABCs. pussies. Fuck I, no I mean, the ABCs. letters G, A, and Y are in the ABCs. Yeah, I've been That's carrying true. this guy around. I rest my gay. Is this how you pay me? ABCs are fucking. I brought my fucking family's house. This how you pay me? He's crazy, dude. We gotta clip that. He has no respect for me. Apparently, we gotta start with a fight. Zero respect. Do you have any respect for me about that? It's, it's one you of the greatest. Austin, like, write that down. Man, I'm not doing that Austin, right write that down, dude. Um, listen, you guys are unbelievable. You guys can't. You guys can't. I'm going to force you guys to be friends if you're not yes. friends. Because you are both comedic geniuses, and we need you both. Yes. The channel do. needs you. We the do. podcast needs you. You guys need to snap in. All right? We're, I've been snapped. I haven't dialed the fuck well, in. Let me, let me say this. Again, dude. You got to stop with the, the abusive language toward Big Che. Big Che, I totally understand why somebody could be uncomfortable having their mom on the podcast. I wouldn't want my mom on the podcast. Right. You know, I totally get where Big Che is coming from. You got to respect him. If you do think he's coming over to your house too much or whatever, you know, talk to him behind the scenes. Be like, hey, man, I need some time to make love to rat pussy Pam. Mm -hmm. You know, make sure her pipes are greased or whatever the fucking expression is. Mm hmm. Yep. Yeah. And no, I just, I just fucking am really pissed off. He's punching me. But I get it. Big Che, would you, if he agrees to stop making fun of you and saying mean stuff, would you apologize for punching him? Yeah. I'm not the one saying mean stuff. You I'm, are. I'm you are saying mean him. stuff. You did 
Granted, he punched you. That wasn't cool. But then you retaliated in a very unkind way. That's true. I don't think either one of you just be be both the bigger men, you know? Fucking as we talked about earlier, turn the other cheek. How about yeah, how about I this? Did turn the other cheek. How about you yeah, each? But then you started calling him up. Yeah. 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 You said you said retarded like 40 times. Yeah. And <laughs> listen, why don't you both take turns each well, giving each other a compliment? I think you should go first, Ratic. You have to a meaningful compliment. There we go. To big Che, and then Big Che will give you a compliment back. I like the way your ass always hangs out your past because sometimes I just want to slip it out and put my cock in there and fuck you really hard. Okay, that is not <laughs> that is not exactly a compliment, but I guess it is actually. Yeah, no, our ass is hanging out right now. Right, take, let's try again. Let's try for a sincere compliment. And yeah. thank you. It might be thank shit you. stains on your couch. Stop. No, no. Right, take, come on. No more give compliments. Him a compliment. About his body a nice, and his a nice compliment. Bowels. Um, Big Che, I love how giving and kind you are I'm but sorry. it's bullshit how Wait. much of no, all, no, no, all no, we're no, doing no. right now it's crazy how explosive and angry you can get out of nothing and it's fucking tiring Retic, bro, hanging Retic. around you and having to deal with that shit Retic. Being, it's like walking on eggshells so i don't get fucking beat up by a fucking retard Stop. okay see, dude see i know we're i'm on your side big jay we've seen the abuse yeah. it's not you big jay he probably deserved the punch a little bit you know? i think he definitely did yes yeah. uh, deserved, i think he the punch you did deserve the punch, punch. Okay. and it is definitely full. Right, uh, you need your body needs to stay hard for wall yeah, time no, in the future too. For when you go back to the pen, you know? he needs to be. Motherfucker, that's in fact, up. I mean, I'm, I'm a little, I'm a little upset we friends, that you, after dude. wall time, oh, you couldn't How dodge. How do you give me a bump, dude? Well, like, How do you not dodge a big Che right hand? I didn't talk to you. I fucking I was pumping you up the whole. The guys are boiling over again. Podcast and be sick as fuck. Fuck as soon as your mom walked out, you're like, why the fuck is your mom, my mom here? You told me you got my mom coming. This is fucking. She's gonna embarrass me. And then you got mad at me. I'm like, what the fuck, Che? I fucking drove your mommy. We were talking about it fucking past two days. Let's take a lift home. Yeah, take a lift home. Well, dog. Big Che, I'm sorry to do this to you, but you have to give Rat Dick a compliment now. Well, Rat Dick didn't really fulfill the spirit of that exercise. Well, well, if he wants to add some mean <laughs> things in there, too, he can do an eye for an eye. Well, oh, yeah. an eye for an eye. eye, for an eye. Yeah. Is that, is, did Jesus say an eye for an eye? I believe so. Oh, wow. That seems a little bit contrary to I turn wish, the other cheek. I wish we'd done that shit to Sesh, fool. Are the streets somewhere? So go go retard on me again somewhere else. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna go back as retarded as you are. Where I'm I'm not retarded. Cuss on me names. Well, I'm gonna go as stop fucking, calling me I'll names. Go as stupid. Stop calling me I'll names. I'll go as hard as you were going. Uh, stop calling me names. If you just start, I'm, what I'm saying is, you just start going like rah rah. I'm fucking don't know the ABCs. I'm gonna do that back. Like rah rah rah. I don't know the ABCs or how to count to six. You are, you are. Big Che, you can count to six, right? Huh? You can count to six, right? Yeah. Cool. Go for it, dude. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Fuck okay. yeah, dude. Yeah. See, Rat Dick. 20? Should we try 20? Mm. Okay, that was a little... Easy, Leo. Yeah. Okay. Oh, Rat Dick, I want you... So you're getting the venom out right now. This is totally fine. I want you, the once that venom. venom is all expended, I want you to give a sincere compliment to Big Che. Uh, I don't think I can give a sincere compliment to you. At this point, there's nothing to compliment. Maybe the way you take dabs cold as fuck and leave a big puddle in my rig every time you hit a dab. Maybe that's something to compliment you about. That is some inside dab beef right there. Yeah, I don't even <laughs> have any idea what that is. Yeah. Leo, I'm glad I don't have to deal with you leaving a puddle in my rig. <laughs> Thank God, dude. Yeah, Yeah, man. You got you to gotta hit the whole dab. You can't be wasting yeah, the dab. Do you have less of cheese residue in the backseat of my sable? Just that cock of yours. <laughs> Hope you can get your dabs on your own. Are you going to miss her, Are you going to miss me? Nah. I'll miss you either. Don't fucking hit me up anymore. Ratic, this is not okay, man. We you and Big Che need each other, dude. This you is guys a need each other more than anyone has ever needed each other. Seriously, man. Like, my parents, if they got divorced tomorrow, like, eh, boo-hoo for a couple days, but then it's good. Yeah. Like, if you guys break up as a comedy troupe, <laughs> the world might stop turning. It'd be, it'd be terrible. And come on, everybody's expecting you guys to be around for a long time. Also, because... Like, come on. Like, if there was an apocalypse, we'd know both of you guys would survive. Yes. You guys are already living in, like, an apocalyptic type scenario. Yeah, you know? they are. They are, dude. <laughs> they are. And it's like, you're, I mean, I don't even know. You guys are amazing. You guys have to stay I'm together. I'm taking my mom home. She's going home with me. Yeah, she's going home with you, dog. No, nah, you guys could home. both take him home, dude. Why? Why do I want to take him home? He's punching me. He's going to go retarded me in the car. If I say well, something. Well, calling me names. I'm calling you names. Right right you it's an action you're going to do. for. Right, like he's saying retarded. You got to quit using that word. It's okay. not politically correct anymore. It's triggering. It's, it's canceled. It's not the preferred nomenclature. 
Ratik what's Ralph. The, what's the word? Like, Ratik, listen to me. He said that if you stopped being mean and you told him something you like about him, he would apologize for hitting you. If he apologizes for hitting you, then you guys are good. You're back to RDR. Does he even Big know Chip. how to give a compliment? <laughs> I'm sure he does. I, I'm I sure you clearly don't, though. That's the I problem. Mean, I said his ass looked nice hanging out of his pants. That was you just trying I to make said, a rat rape joke. Yeah. Well, maybe, maybe a compliment. You know, it, it's it's cool. It's it's been a good time seeing you vomit, and it got me. You know, got me here. You know, seeing you puke everywhere. Come on, right? <laughs> tell him. Hasn't he brightened up your life the last uh, few months? Yeah, it's been cool seeing his leg rot off, and I guess I'm not gonna be here to see the downfall duh. completely. Rajik, you seem sober right now, but you've got a very dark streak. It's as if like the the methamphetamines, yeah, they've are, worn off. Well, yeah, no, the <laughs> methamphetamines are are kind of revamped inside your body right now. You're almost like on meth, even though you're not. That yeah, punch yeah. like activated some. Yeah, yeah. It, it's, a, it's a meth flashback. It's a meth I mean. flashback, yeah. or of ginger. I mean, do you see him as sort of like the ginger that used to sexually assault you and punch you and stuff? No, I see him as a big. Kindergarten is going to go crazy on me any moment if I say something. To At least he didn't use the word insult retarded. Him. At least he didn't use retarded. But I guess. That's kind of retarded. Well, stop punching no, me. That's kind of my fault, stop that one. Names. It was. I might keep calling you names. Stop. See? Stop. Friends call each other names, <laughs> all right? Names, but it dude. can't be It can't be the ones that he doesn't like. So maybe we Do like replace. Word stop. No. No, we replace it. How about. Okay, let's, he, let's think of words that he might like. Well, he liked kindergartner. Gunfuck. What about kindergartner? No. No, you don't like that either. Gunfuck. Stop. No. Um, right, Dick, call it, him a name. It, call him a name. Asshole. Oh, right, Dick, that was kind of, oh, that actually made me like tear up a little bit. <laughs> right, Dick, I, want I am you, an asshole. <laughs> right, Dick, I want you to tell Big Great, Che yeah, right Big now it's nice, what man. you think for 30 seconds. Just give him a monologue of what you think. I think you're a piece of shit. I never want to see you get ever punching me. I think you're really stupid. And I think I haven't even brought you along this far. It was a fucking mistake of mine. Oh. I shouldn't be hanging around with people like you. It's fucking, it's a downfall, dude. You're just gonna make me fat like you. I should be out there working out, making myself a better person. I'm just here giving you a fucking dab every day. It's a waste of my fucking time. Just Stop. Get my life, you would dude. be doing dabs no matter what. I'd be doing dabs. Maybe I'll go do something more productive without you, though. I don't think you'd be working maybe out two without without you. Maybe I'll see you down the line or something, but maybe you guys come on your podcast. I'll just go do my own thing, but... Like if you guys want Big Che, and it should be like, do you guys want Big Che? You guys want Rat Like, what the fucking? I thought that decide? you guys were gonna start your own pod at some point. <laughs> Not anymore. That would be amazing. Like, that would be, that would be fucking amazing. I'm sorry, we're gonna have to do this. How about for one minute, you guys are doing a podcast? Yeah, right I like now. It. you and Big Che. So go back and forth. Me and Austin are not gonna talk. Give a little theme song and an intro, Austin. It's right. Yeah. Give so find a theme song on and then uh, Austin. Yeah, some music. Do, yeah, do your. Did little... you like getting ass raped by Cali Herbs at that last sesh? Stop. We haven't started the pod yet. Oh. We haven't. That was off and, my and, banter. Yeah, that was exactly. That was like you came in with your coffee. You're like, hey, did you like getting ass raped by Cali Herbs at the last right, session? Right. That's what that was, audience. Right. That's calling me names and shit. Listen, this is a big but moment for you guys. Cali Herbs doesn't want you at a session. Cali Herbs doesn't want you at a session because you called it stupid. You got me in trouble. You're like, oh, this is so boring. I had a great time at the session until you called it boring. I wasn't talking about Cali Herbs. You were. Hit the I intro, Austin. About drunken stoner. You got me in trouble Shh. for being stupid. Stop. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the greatest show on the internet. It is the Rat Dick Ralph and Big J Show. Well, are you going to suck my cock after the show? Bro? No, I'm not. Why not? Why are you acting stupid? I'm not going to say I just want you to suck my cock. Like Music down, about. Austin. Why are you acting dumb? I want you to suck my cock. What are you talking about? I'm not nobody's cock. About my girlfriend's dad's cock. No. I thought you liked him. You gave him. You were leaning on him. What? I wasn't leaning on him. He was leaning on me. I got the video. Wow. You leaning on him? Why are you trying to take the video on? I won't pull it out right now. But you were doing some gay shit on Christmas. No, I wasn't doing. It's gay been past shit. the four year mark. A great pod, I wasn't doing gay shit. Your <laughs> brother, your fucking dad was doing gay shit. He thought you, you're sexy. That's why I brought you over. He said I wanted a fucking Latino that I could fuck on Christmas. I'm like, My dude, this guy's gay as shit. He's gonna fuck the shit out of you, dad. That wasn't gonna happen. It, <laughs> but well, he, he went for your mom because you were being a fucking stooge. No, I wasn't being a stooge. Well, then, <laughs> well, you were like, mom, did he just slap your ass, dude? Or what happened? How the hell you want me to know? You guys didn't tell me nothing. You guys were standing. Well, you weren't. You weren't guiding. You weren't protecting so your mom. About my mom dude. Bro, I'm just talking about what happened on Christmas. This pot's lit, mom. dog. This pot's yeah, lit, you, dude. Why, <laughs> why would you leave your mom alone with a rapist like that? Why was no, it drunk? Why would you have? Why would you have had to bring my it's mom? It's a hell of a you thing to say about your girlfriend. I, I just thought I was bringing your mom because I was bringing my pockets. I wanted nothing to do with your mom, dude. Out of control. You fucking. You, I brought her here because we were gonna do a lit podcast until you fucking flipped the fuck out. 
You know, I, I'm not going to say you did a bitch fix. I want you to get mad, but something retarded in this fit. Something Stop calling me retarded. Okay. Okay. Dude, chill. I'm not going to call That's you fucking retarded. I'm going to call you retarded. This chill spot's out, bro. unbelievable, bro. You guys, this is what you guys do every week? Yeah. You guys do this every like week? Hopping up, well, is there a Patreon episode yeah. you can sign up for? Wait, is there a Patreon where you guys just... Yeah, we're going to get naked, bro. cover ourselves in chocolate, no and lick each other. Dude, oh, yeah. shit. You got to cool with that gay shit, Raddy. You don't like that. All right, I mean, there's a bad girl running to show myself in the bathroom and start swinging on me, but it's just like, I, I want to keep this mic in my hand. Okay, yeah, this pod's good. Me. Are you guys going to do this every week? Because this is I'm fire. Are you going to make up with me? Top of the charts, oh, iTunes. Dude. Well, I'm not going to make up with you. Dude. Well, you're not going to say sorry. I was going to say sorry, but why are you going to be a dick? Oh, hell yeah. We're going to have an apology oh, right here? We're cool now? Yeah. All right. Oh, cool. Hug. Oh, hug. 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 hug it out. Come on, brother. Come on. Hug, hug it out. Rat dick. Hug. Wow, yeah, that was yeah. a dope pod. That was a sick ass pod, dude. Yeah, we're cool. We're cool. Cool. no more abusive language. No I like how much closer you are. Big Che, you know Rat Dick. Sometimes he's on drugs and he says really offensive stuff. Really offensive Ask yeah. it, Lenegi. He was raped. Sorry, uh, so there, okay. that's yeah. beautiful. They're making it up. Dude, that's why I hang out with you so much. You know, sorry if you're such a dick in the beginning of the pod. It's really pissed me off. I really do love you a lot, dude. Rat Dick, you guys are on the ascent. We're planning a main channel video for the two of you to star in. We're yeah. going to shoot it in like two weekends. Mm -hmm. Rat Dick. I'm sorry. On, all your so debt problems. Not all so your names. debt problems. I'm not. Dude, I, it just, I'm not JP Morgan. I'm sorry. Yeah, some of your so debt problems are going to be resolved. Yeah, he's going to need like. What do you think for the for the lawyer? How much do you think that's going to? Well, I don't know about the lawyer. Makes me cry. You're my best friend. Are you crying, Right Dick? Yeah, right Dick. So here's what's gonna happen. He's my best friend, you know. It's just like it's you know, I get you, brother. You guys spent. It's an intense relationship, you know. It's Wait, like Rattick's Paul actually, McCartney and John Lennon, dude. Dude, Right Dick's actually crying. Are you crying? I'm crying. Are you? Yeah, he is, dude. Wow, Right Dick, tell us what's going through your head right now. I, just, I really love this guy, and uh, he's going crazy on me. Dude, <laughs> Rat Dick, hey, I gained a lot of respect for you, Rat Dick. Uh, me too, man. I know, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I called. Said you were being, having a bitch. I didn't mean that. It's because we're, like, we're like, wow. You know, we're just we're fucking friends here, and that's something we say. But you I didn't, know that. Uh, I mean to push your buttons, you know. And then when you swing on me, I just I wanted to keep pushing them because they're just it was intense. You know, you're I would, an I would never punch you back, Big Che. You know, so I love you, but Aww. Rat Dick, Big Che, do you accept <laughs> his apology? Yeah, dude, that is so sweet. You guys are really sweet. Oh mm. my god. Ratik, that is, not only can you take a punch, you are a big enough man to understand that not everybody's perfect and sometimes you got to forgive people for things yeah, they do people. wrong. Every guy, you know, it's, it's not about being the bigger man, it's about understanding your friends, you know. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Wow. That was beautiful, that man. Was great. <laughs> I, I think that's almost a perfect note to end on. Well, I, I let's go a little bit longer because I just want to say that, so Ratik, we are, <sighs> this is, I can't believe this, Ratik. Uh, the the tears are going to keep flowing and I tell yeah. you this great news we are going to shoot a pornography really? with you really? and Rat Pussy Pam okay. and whoever else wants to be involved maybe okay. we can get some OnlyFans girls that'll okay. tug your fucking wiener yeah. mm -hmm. and Big Che I'm trying to even get Big Che's big wee wee touch I've convinced her to suck my penis <laughs> she's, got, she's down to suck my penis but I actually she rode my cock in our hot tub at our apartment and I'm going to post that on Patreon. You fucked in the public. And, oh, yeah. no. oh, wow. They fucked in the public hot There's tub. There's people walking by us. And she was just sitting on top of me. Like, they don't wow. know we're fucking right now. Oh, what, Wow, this is great. For the yeah. OnlyFans video, though, because I want to tie Big Che in there, if he doesn't get his wee wee touched, can he be maybe like eating like a bowl of ice cream? Fuck yeah, dude. Yeah. While, while you get no, your no, dick no. sucked? While you get your dick sucked? I'm so, I'm so down for that. I'm so Hell down yeah. for that. Yeah, I would love for Big Che. And I'm, I want you to come to my house tomorrow, dude. I want to hey, eat vegetables. I want, if you don't come to my house, I'm going to come to your house and see you, dude. I know, I fuck, we, we're best friends, you bro. You guys love each other. We love each other. And I'm sorry I was being such a dick to you earlier, Aww. dude. Yeah, yeah, I really am. Well, it's okay. I hope you can understand it. That's. Uh, uh, I'm sorry I was fucking trying to push your mom to make content and bring her here, but. I just really thought it would be a great fucking do. See your mom. Nice. It would be, dude. Yeah. But not everybody is down for exposing all elements of their life. Yep. Not I'm everybody's sorry, as open as Retic. Yeah. Yeah. Retic. So the thing is, if you don't have an ID, yeah. it's going to be a problem to get you on OnlyFans. Yeah. So exactly. I don't. I don't know how good of a forger you are. I don't know if you can actually go down to the DMV and get one without getting cuffed. I could do, I could do that. But you can we, get one without being cuffed. Yeah, I could cuffed. You know, like illegal immigrants can get IDs at the DMV, bro. Just go there, ask, just be like, hey, I need an identification I'll try card. to do it online tonight, and if it doesn't work, I'll just go there tomorrow. Because, Rat Tech, here's what I'm worried about. If you don't get, get an ID, like, we have no choice. Rat Pussy's got to get fucked by another guy. Yeah, yeah. that's terrible. And I actually was dealing with the same issue because I wanted to start my own OnlyFans, but it says, oh, you need an ID. And so Rat Pussy Pam said... She was applying with her name and that was Ralph and it got flagged as fraud and so we couldn't do that. <laughs> 
bullshit. So <laughs> if you guys dress up like rats and just fuck each <laughs> other, fuck each other. Night, yeah. <laughs> we really want to make contact because we are we are in a hole. I mean, it would a be little the behind greatest, on rats, dude. That be and like the co- they covered each other in we'll cockroaches. Stop, dude. <laughs> and cheese dude, wings. It would be unbelievable. It would be, it'd be the greatest. You know, and, and Big Che, he relieves a lot of my stress come over because I know it's, I still have nothing to do. And I'm just I'm trying to make content, so I'm like. You know, he is a great friend helping my part, apartment, you know, during the day. And like, yeah, yeah. You know, I, I want you to keep coming over, Che. Right, Dick. We're going to fucking take a, and shit. We're gonna take a big chip away at this debt. I'm, I've never done OnlyFans before. I Hopefully, we can easily make $2,500. I imagine we'll I easily so. make $2,500 if, so. if Rad Pussy Pam has sex with a guy. Or yeah. it's also the way you... Will she uh, jerk another guy off? She probably will, yeah. Yeah. Wow. Uh, yeah. Well, we've added, we've done enough, like, OnlyFans stuff to... I, we've talked to enough girls where I think it's like... You get like a, a sort of cheap base price for like it's just like you at RPP, like maybe in lingerie. Yeah. But then in the DMs, when they ask you for the stuff, then you go, all right, well, it's $50 for this video, blah, blah, blah. So you might need to be on there. If you want to make the optimal amount of money, you're going to have to be on there haggling, which you already kind of do yeah. in your dick videos yeah. and stuff and your shit Slow videos. Slow down a little bit. And it's, the, the customers are coming. And hopefully, the people watch the podcast and we're like, oh, I'm buy a dick video. Well, you know? if we yeah. put you another main channel video, right, Dick? And it's not going to come flooding in. Oh, if it's a flooding. good video, if I act, if act good in the video and perform well i'm sure it's gonna be great sure you know? yeah and absolutely and, oh, you yeah. know we I perform um, well i imagine you got a pretty good boost in cock picture sales after that crit mac video oh fuck yeah i did i got i've been making i made like 170 dollars the other day and i took big chow we took the other day just yeah. one day yeah we went to dinner KBQ. how much do you think you've made since the crit mac video um probably like maybe like 1200 bucks maybe 700 to 1200 bucks off solid yes yeah. you know that's good money for what he's doing i think yeah. so just calling people the n-word and fold his <laughs> penis in the past it's like unbelievable yeah that two is, months would you ever put that on a resume yeah like yeah. experience call people the n-word shit and then master stretching my penis like yeah stretching real, penis yeah. yeah it's like cameo it is like cameo. It's his own cameo. It's a, it's a very dark cameo. Can we call like a Papa John's right now? And can you try to ask for a job? Yeah, let's, let's do it. Get your phone, right, Dick? Hell yeah. So yeah let's Hell yeah, I got my phone. Or are, you want to put it on the main one with the, uh, we can put it <laughs> Yeah, the my phone's on service though. I'm, you know, I have, I have to get like Wi Fi to make a call. He's one of your phones. It's a banger. I can probably just log in. Yeah, log in and let's yeah, log in. Let's log in. Let's see. Let's give Rad Dick his headphones. Let's see this. It's going to be great. I am, uh, my maid is so Mexican, I have to use a text-to-speech app. I need oh, a really? to translate. I got yeah. you, bro. Dude, yeah. I came home and there was a bunch of Oof. dead fruit flies in my bathtub. Oh, wow. It's like a fruit fly holocaust in one bath. I don't I don't get it at all. Austin, yeah, find a Papa John's. Oh. Ratchet's going to give him a call. And uh, should he ask for a manager or should he just give an earful to the cashier? Earful to the cashier. <laughs> Absolutely. Big right, Jay, we're going to well. get this fucking job. This is going to be a great. fucking job. I'm going to go be real quick. <laughs> right to go. How do you think you would last you if you actually had a job at Papa John's? Open and ready to serve let's, you. let's hold down the interview. Let's go. We may collect your contact and payment information so we are able to complete your order. You can go to papajohns.com to learn about how we use your information and to read our privacy policy. Please listen carefully as our menu options are changed. Oh, my eye is aching when we do this. <laughs> You're a legend, right? I'm fine. It's fine. To follow up on an existing order, please press 2. To place a new order, please press three. For store hours, to apply for a job with your small penis. Up on a previous <laughs> sure. <laughs> Thing of a con, Papa John Fixer. Hey, my name is Ralph. I ordered two pepperoni pizzas. Um, I told them to put rat penis on them. I don't know if they understood me. Uh, they just came with pepperoni. I'm not satisfied with my order. There's no penis. I told him to chop up the penis and put on my pizza. And this is not acceptable for me because I actually work at a Domino's down the street. This is this is Papa John's, but I work at Domino's and we serve our customers penis when they ask them. Uh, but, you know, funny. yeah, OK, but, you know, I, I want to apply with you because serving penis you people is kind of getting it's tired. It's really so. funny, though. It's really funny, but thank you. No, thank you. No, no, no. I want to apply. My, my sure, specialties no, are no, selling, yeah. selling call, videos of my penis online. Call your mom online. and call your dad. And play no, my, with them. This is gonna be I fun. specialize right. in selling cock videos. Know, I'm stretching so my penis and calling people the well, end. I don't care. I'm what so is sorry. your ethnicity? Right. What is your ethnicity, sir? Are you um 
<laughs> Fuck. Hey, he tried to go at you, Rat Dick. He started bringing up your mom and your dad. He was trying to do it in a work safe way, though. He couldn't come out and say, like, I fucked your mom. Yeah, I I really didn't want to just, like, listen to he was saying. I just wanted to keep going with what I was saying. Like, I loved fuck it. Fuck what he was saying. I, I loved it, dude. Yeah. I, I like how we thought you were going to barrel in there with that job interview stuff, but you just kept hitting him with, I want Rat Dick on my pizza. Yeah, and I didn't get it, but maybe it's, I'm, t I'm tired of the Rat Penis Pizza. Maybe I'll switch over to you guys. Give me a job. They were not down to give me a job. Big Che, have you ever applied for a job? I wish you a Big Che interview, a job interview. That sounds funny, too. I feel, I worked a long time. Hey, can we call another pizza parlor with Big going to call another Papa Okay, Okay, hey, Big Che, you're talking. Hey, Big Che is going to hit a prank call. Gonna <laughs> <laughs> Big Che is going to try to apply for a job. I think yeah, if I just yeah. call and press two, it'll go right, right through again. Oh, my God. Okay, give Big Che headphones. Thank you for right calling Big Papa Jones. We're open and ready to start. Yeah, headphones on. Yeah, so, cool. just whatever you want to say, Big J. But you want to, your goal is to get the job, Big J. Yeah, I, I think you can say whatever he wants to say. All right. Yeah, you got, you got, this is going to be great. I know it is. Yeah, yeah, this. Yeah. Big J, just talk shit. Hello, so thanks for calling Papa job. Jones. Please hold on for one second. He's nuts in your mouth. <laughs> or that you're on hold. So, when they come back. <laughs> <laughs> one second, Big J. You're going to get back uh, on. Thank you for holding with this brief for delivery carry out. He's nuts in your mouth. <laughs> tell me, tell me, trying to get a job. Trying to get a job. <laughs> now, Rat Dick, they can hear you. Hey, you fucking asshole, Rat Dick. It's got to go down. All right, give me a fucking call to a Papa John's. Oh, dude. <laughs> that was good. He's going to go put some of his nuts in his mouth. I figured right. out the number to press. All right, here we go. Let's hit it. BS. Oh my god, that was funny, dude. Thank you for calling Papa Jones. We're open. <laughs> it notes in your mouth, fool. That was dope, dude. Earning and redeeming with the Papa. Thank you for calling Papa Jones. This is Myra. Yeah, Myra, do you mind if I speak to a manager? It's in regards to an order I placed earlier. Yeah, what's your name? Don't worry about my name, Myra. I'd really like to speak to management. I'm the manager. Myra, you guys sent me a pie. You guys sent me a pie that was covered in mildew. Excuse me? You taking this down, Myra? Yeah, what's your name? Don't worry about my name. Okay, my name is give me a... I Listen to, to me right now. Order. Myra, you're out of line right now. Listen, my pizza pie was covered in mold. And I'm about to come down there and rub it around in your face if you don't open your ears and listen up. I'm a taxpaying American with a big old dick. I eat Papa John's every day of the week, and I have for the last 10 years. A moldy pizza to me is like an American flag burning on the ground. It's a travesty. I'm going to come down there, and I'm going to urinate on my favorite table. You know the one over by the arcade games? That's the one. I'm going to pee all over the dining surface. And then I'm going to ejaculate. Oh, yeah, I'm going to ejaculate into the cheese. Earning and redeeming with the Papa Rewards program is easy, and you won't believe how fast your rewards <laughs> Earn a point for every dollar you spend. Okay, That's hang fire. up on that fucker. What? Uh, all right. Uh -huh. I want to talk to a guy. My plan was just threaten to, to kick a guy's ass. <laughs> I, I thought she hung up on you and put you on hold forever. Dude. It sounded like you, she might have gotten like somebody of a, you know on top. Well, she, she said she was the manager. Yeah, so I thought that's why I thought she might have hung up on you. You know, I, it's fucking brave new world. Huh? We got women managing restaurants, dude. It's not cool. Oh, yeah. All right, Leo, you hit one. All right, go get, get any any uh, pizza joint, I guess. You like this? Yeah. Big Che, it's fun, dude. That's what I used to do before cell phones. Well, we had cell phones, obviously, like an idiot, but it was before smartphones. And I just, Thank I would, I would, Papa me and my buddy would just call 50 places and prank phone call them through the, like, all the way deep into the night. Thank you for calling Papa John's Cooper City. It is Maricela. Would you like to place another for pickup or for delivery? I, yeah, Maricela, I had a, 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 a question to ask you. I, uh, I came in like uh, maybe like an hour ago and I 
I have to say, uh, Maricela, you're one of the most beautiful women I've ever seen in my life. And uh, I was hoping I could, uh, I could take you out sometime. And you came here earlier? Yeah, I came here earlier. Oh. I was the tall guy. I had the long hair. Maris Maricela, you're the most beautiful. We talk, and uh, you're the most beautiful woman I've ever seen. I want to take you out to El Torito. <laughs> I, I want to buy you a couple of margaritas and, you know, oh. maybe me. Yeah, you listen to the Gypsy Kings. And <laughs> what do you say? Huh? You want to go out with me? I, I, I don't remember I see you earlier, but I'm checking with your telephone number. Yeah. Uh, if you came today, so it's seven four seven. Uh huh. Uh one. Let me see. Yeah, check it out, Maricela. What do you say? You know, we could go um, have a good, maybe like a picnic on the beach, and I can show you my dick and show me my what? My my ab my abs. I have a very nice stomach with a good abs. So I wanted to show you my abs and, you know, we could uh, uh, dance. Up. I don't have anything in here. You know what? I, happy I'm a, New Year. I, you you want to dance? You know what? Happy New Year. So, Bye. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> <laughs> that was the winner. That was great. <laughs> <laughs> i show you my D. <laughs> And she loved it, dude. She, she did, loved. dude. Maricela loved that. She sat, dude. I might have to go back in there. Dude. Oh. I might have to find that. Give me that fucking. She Papa sounded John's. cute, dude. She did. Give me that Papa John's. Dude. I'm gonna go find Maricela, dog. Hey, uh, Austin. She read our number back. You might want to block that. Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think, Austin? Or the the uh, Google uh, Voice. Yeah, it's a Google Voice number. I could just change it. People right. would, yeah. If it's just auto generated, who cares? Yeah. Well, people, it's been the Leo and Danny I'm show. Leo and Danny it's show. Been a crazy one. Yeah, it's been a wild one, right, Dick? How's your eyebrow feeling? It's swelling. It looks a little swollen. I forgive you, Che. <laughs> you definitely got him, bro. He got you, bro. <laughs> Big Che got you. Got him, dude. Big Che, you got yeah, We should have a fair boxing match sometime, dude, so I get you back. Well, you know? I don't. Uh, we'll see. No. We'll, we'll see. I think you guys squash the beef in the bedroom with Rat Pussy back. Pam. Yes. But uh, hey, thank you guys. And th honestly, you guys breaking up would be worse. Than when Lennon we're left not breaking up. Days. We're not breaking up, right, Joe? You guys can't break uh, up. You guys can't. We're not breaking up, guys. We're like we're like fucking the dudes from like, dude, where's my car? Yeah. yeah, it's a it's it's nice, brother. He deserves. He deserves. People homies yeah. got each other. It's you fine. It's good. It's guys can fight and then you're better friends after. Yeah, yeah. yeah. you're not the only one with passion too. Yeah, yeah that's, that's true, dude. Yeah. That's yeah. true, right, Dick? Well, guys, it's been the Leo and Danny yeah. show. Thank you. Peace.